Recap. We are heading towards the final crystal. We are trying to take down Barnabas. There's a wolf named Torgal. End of story. <laughs> there we go. That's the recap. There's a frost wolf called Torgal. There you go. Thanks. We are on chapter, as Raj said, 56 of 68. So I suppose this is spoiler territory now. Yes. Um, shall we do main? Let's go. Let's go main. Oh my god, there's, two, there's just a few things to tie up. No, stop it. Okay, let me do, let's deliver the ingredients to Molly in the hideaway because that one, the the trying the diamond means that it's like one that we can finish, and then this one means it, we haven't even started it. So let's do that. Let's give Molly the ingredients for the dish. I did actually watch the vods, and I apparently still have no idea. It's just shameful, Peach. It's actually shameful. Uh, a viewer of a stream should know what's going on at every single second. And if you don't, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, you can talk to Joshua. Oh, I want them to have more scenes together and just like recap their lives. Were it not for the Undying's aid, I would be long dead. Sorry, turn up volume. Grant them your trust and they will repay you with their loyalty. Toggle, can we talk to you? Oh, he does track me with his eyes though. Wherever I am, he will look at me. Ah, Okay, give Molly the ingredients and speak with Karen. Why is Karen- oh, Seems different- the hideaways Okay. Lost its appetite. Molly's ingredients. So, Hi, Cotillon! Did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, and I did. he Here was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. He did. Bonnet and some liver. So, for context about this side mission, she is one of the chefs at the hideaway and she said, please can you go get me these ingredients so I can make um, a meal. So we brought it back and I guess she's going to cook it for us now and we'll see what it tastes like. I hope it wasn't as bad as the last one. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Try. Blueback wyvern liver. And uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it were an actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. The grand old chefs of yore. I barely know what's going on in my own life. Bold of you to ask me what's going on in a video game. <laughs> okay, well, Bun's just... What? Oh, that looks nice. It looks like chicken and nuggets and salad. It. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Looks better than, than well, the, I say offered. Than the last one. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honour than partaking in a slice of culinary history? Taste it. <coughs> beep beep, everybody in. Oh, I need to turn my lights off. I completely forgot. My bad. So Thank you, Peach, for the gifted sub to what's happening. <laughs> what? What witchery is this? Is he dying? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force. A force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavor and sensation. Oh, he likes a it? Graceful beast emerging. It didn't from sound like he liked it. Of slumber. I think he likes it. Oh, thanks, Claire. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Okay, nice meal. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sit. Might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith? I'll give it some thought. Oh, no more side... Uh, the side mission that leads to another side mission every single time. To conclude, he liked the meal. It looked like chicken nuggets. It wasn't chicken nuggets. He almost died and then he liked it by the end. So that's good. Everyone's alive. Good. Good, good, good. No, Peach is utterly my fault. I forgot to mute it. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to What Is Going On? Peach! Pay attention. <laughs> I'm Clive and welcome to Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> uh, 
Hi, Eni the Juan. You don't have to necessarily do every side quest, especially if you'd like to focus on the story, but towards the end, there are important ones. So we did a poll in the chat as to whether I do most of the side quests or literally every single one. And something something like 91% of the chat voted that I do all of them. So I think we are going to do all of them. That dish gives you vocabulary plus 50 stat boost. Perks. Perks. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul a gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. Petrifying. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. You did. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whit for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. Tekken. You've always been me right eye. She loves Tekken. Tekken. And I'd have you stay that way. Which Tekken? So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. The new one? Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. His love for his Buy grandmother big lump. is Fine. beyond you reasonable doubt. You Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as may be. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then... Okay, done. He'll need people to watch his back. Okay, good. Lovely. Just like you did in Dallamil. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. It's the nicest thing she's I ever said. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. It's the only nice thing she's ever said to us, is that. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. No discount still. Wow, okay. Thanks, Karen. Whatever you say. Eye for an eye, heart for a heart. Oh, she's given us... She's given us a continental sensor? It's packed with herbs and can ward off everything from insects to the plague. That would have been nice back in, uh, back in Plague Tale. Lovely. Enter the free cities. Okay, let's go. Hey Twitch Today 19, welcome to the stream. Frozen Mexican, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Such a good name. Have I missed anything else? Sorry that, sorry that I've got cat, agent, game, everything. I'm, I promise you I'm gonna focus now. I'm gonna focus. Bun has taken over the stream 92 times. My god. Um, I have a hot chocolate today. And then when the hot chocolate runs out, I have a Fanta watermelon. I know it's kind of a weird contrast, but... I do have those two different drinks today. Oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Hot Chucky, please sit down. It's a dark chocolate hot chocolate. So it's kind of on the bitter side, but it's quite nice. Because normally hot chocolate is very sweet. Okay, Anna, stop talking and get on with it. There are, there's one side quest there, four side quests there. My god, no, let's do main, let's, let's go main. Main story, let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> At least we haven't got a, a recap from Vivian. Okay, old Canva. There's a shipwreck. Joshua's there. Warehouse district. Here we are. What are we doing again? Sounds like thunder. Good observation, Clive. Oh, it's a keep. Sorry, I didn't realize it was a code word. Sorry. Makes sense. More now. You're late. <laughs> I was starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Mid! Any trouble on the road? Oh yeah, we're good. Is that Mid's boat? Nothing we couldn't handle. Did it break? I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? It is. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most at time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. Because Middadol is such a hard word to say. Oh. My lady. Oh my gosh, is he falling in love? Hey! <laughs> that was quick. Imagine they're blonde, 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 blonde babies. <laughs> okay, Josh Jam. 
What? My no. Boy. Uncle Byron. Oh, Uncle Byron. <laughs> there he is. It's, it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Do you guys like Uncle Byron, or do you find him irritating? I'm trying so to work out what controlled. people's feelings are towards Uncle Byron. That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, hey, eerie Jamal. blue glow. Thanks no doubt the they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. You have mixed feelings. Tell me we about those mixed feelings. We saw more than a few in the city. Yeah, Spazzy, we they could do a poll. They ranks with a purpose. Good idea. And not of their own. Ultimus doing. When in doubt, it's always Ultima. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Can I confirm that that shipwreck the outside district to the west was and a mid few of us on the far ship. bank? 50-50? If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place... A few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. Okay, what do on. you propose? Murder. Tornadoes? We split into two parties. Okay. Half and half. I will make for the merchant's district. While you look to those across the river. Can we bring Taya? Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? Hating Byron is a the sin. Ship, Hi, uh, Ares. The Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, okay. they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? If she's saying that the don't boat only needs a few that. tweaks, I'll then I'm guessing it's safe. not Looks that. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe! Gutter snipe. I wonder where that phrase came from. Is there something Shall that we then? snaps at you in a gutter? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. Godspeed. You too. Love you. XOXO. Play and find out? No, half the time I feel like I'm asking questions because I feel like I should know at this point, so... If I'm right, not supposed Orville. to know, that's good. Let's find those survivors. But if that's midship, oh. then we are screwed. Or is it the Raskas? It's actually the Raskas. I'm not- I haven't decided yet whether I- whether I'll play Baldur's Gate, Darth. Because I, I did some voices and mocap work on it, so I need to try and figure out whether we try and go find myself or whether it'll be too much of a big thing to do i'm not sure yet i have i have thoughts i have thoughts rats snap at you from the gutter that's true they do maybe they're the, the og gutter snipes oh oh they don't stand a chance against those things oh big trolls okay that's fine that's fine come on It's so easy to kill! They look massive! They look massive, but they just take like five hits. That's so freaking easy. Do I see Nans pudding? Oh! Nans, you got me killed. That's absolutely your fault. Got him. Nans! Hold on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What is he doing? What is he an acrobatic for? That's it. I think he parried me. I think he parried me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Limit break. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I missed! 
Can we stagger him, please? Toggle, stagger him. What is his problem? This is actually terrible. Hold on. Staggered, thank God. Okay, hang on. I'll be right with Nens. Should be able to get him out. Die, bro. Limit break again. <laughs> You're doing great and I'm cheering so loudly for you. I need to get this asshole. We parried him, that's good. That's good, that's good. One more of this. Is he not dead yet? Dodge. Anyway, epic fail. Thank you for the follow. I feel like that is uh, a username that can summarize my life. I'm joking. Uh, Nans, thank you for the resub. How long has it been? 17, 17 months? That is ridiculous. That is almost two years. What? Imagine two years and I've only met you once. Guys, Nans is coming to London at some point and I'm going to show her around London. It's going to be great. I genuinely can't believe it. I can't either. I literally never use Limit Break. You forgot it was there. Really? I I definitely use Limit Break more to get my health back than I do to inflict damage. When I'm low health, I'm like, oh, I should probably use Limit Break. 33% of chat find Uncle Byron endearing. 12% a mix of endearing and annoying. 4% know he's really the villain. <laughs> right. Got you, got you. London, London, London. I forget about Limit Break all the time. Do you really? I'm surprised about that. Okay, guys, I'm going to run in there and I'm going to do a tornado. And when I do a tornado, I would like you to all use the tornado emote because I think that it actually gives the in-game tornado more power. So I'm just saying. There we go. That's it. Thank you. Spam that emote because it will really help. <laughs> Raj with the announcement. <laughs> Look at the state of them in there. I shouldn't have done that as a waste. Oh, I can just give charged shots while they're in there as well. to die. What a way to die. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh god. Oh dear, oh dear. Goodbye to that one. You think it would be a good idea to what? Perfect. I could do that to you, and then is there anyone else? Dead? What happened to the royal army? Okay, good. Everyone's dead. There's nothing but monsters here. At least when you use limit break, you kindly let us know that you're using it. I I feel like I can't press limit break without shouting limit break. It's like that. Isn't there like um another video game where every single time he uses a certain power, he says it? That's how I feel, I have to tell you. I just watched a movie called Viking Destiny. Did you really? Did you really now? How did you find it? Hi Cobra, hi NK by the way. Sorry, I saw you come in from the beginning and I haven't said hello properly. Hello Darpas, my love. Oh, you want, you want two limit break bars, why? Can you do that? Oh, you guys told me to upgrade it. You told me to upgrade Limit Break. Is that because I can make it bigger? Oh no. How can I upgrade Limit Break? Whereabouts is the Limit Break upgrade? I didn't even think about it. 
In the middle? Um, this one? Upgrade it by a thousand, okay. Improves battle performance for a short time. Gosh, I can upgrade it by twice. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest to to fully to fully whack out the tornado. I still really I want to make the tornado as powerful as possible. <laughs> I really do. Okay, that's not worth it. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. We've got a limit breaking moat. Raj, did you make it yourself? Raj, did you make that? I feel like you made that for me, didn't you? Or did that already exist? Oh yeah, we've got three bars of limit break now. It already exists. There's a limit break emoji. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Also, I don't know if Nan's pudding is still here, but um, I'm absolutely obsessed with her and I just feel like sharing to the world that I love her very much. She does also stream occasionally, just in a casual fun way. So I'm gonna shout her out, even though she probably doesn't want me to, but you should follow her. <laughs> Magician, remembering the last line of the movie. Okay, I opened the loot box. So we've got loot. Oh, someone just got yeeted. Oh my god, bad dog. Bad dog. Get off. Sick him, Torgal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, what are you doing down there? What are you doing down there, Tornado? Have act two. Okay, I'm going. Oh wait, okay. So please experience that by yourself! Charge shot. Ooh, yes, Tornado! Limit break! Harried him, let's go! Staggered, staggered, staggered. Sorry, there's a lot going on on the screen right now. I know you can't see anything, neither can I, don't worry. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh my god. Okay, I took a high potion because he was getting a bit intense. Get a grip, man! No. All I see is numbers. <laughs> Get off! Get off! Dodge. Slap. Spit. Every time he does that, he puts me on the balcony. It's quite romantic, really. Back off, back off. Silent stone! No, 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 no! Oh, God. Dodged it, that's good. Harried! Harried! Sick and toggle! Staggered. Spin slap. Come on, you got this! Okay, I hate those guys. They're not fun. I don't like their weapons. I don't like their attacks. I don't like their attitude. Um, I could do with never seeing one of those again. Okay, moving forward. Loot. Numbers and flashes of red. Honestly, if you think that I can, if you think that I can see more than you guys can when I'm in combat, I can't. I'm, I'm still just as clueless as you. So much going on on the screen. Don't get surrounded. Loot, 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 loot. No, okay, time for attacking instead. Hi, guys! Tornado! Right in the middle there. Enjoy? Okay, and then from a distance. From a distance, I'm going to charge shot. Charge shot again. Charge shot again. <laughs> I can't see anything. What are they doing up there? Stay. 
done. One left. To me, flames. Sick him, Toggle. Again. This one. Go, Toggle. This one. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Don't worry. Taron. 25 months. Thank you so much. Aries, thank you for 100 bits. I literally missed out on that. Aries, please tell me you're still here. Uh, you should always, you should also check out other abilities on the icons outside the base. Two abilities. You should also check out other abilities on the icons outside of the base. Two abilities. Some are really fun. Which are the base two? That I'm, the ones that I'm using. You mean the wing and the spin? Taryn, thank you for 25 months. You're still here, Aries. Thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I missed it. I'm really sorry I missed it. Have a sip of my hot chocolate. Punishing sick. Sick and toggle. Oh, some loot there. I'm guessing there should be a box around here. How could there not be a loot box on an area this wide? Also, do you like how strategically they've, they've put that box in the light from the window? The light is quite literally specifically beaming onto the box. Just in case you miss it. Raging Fist is probably his best one. Yeah, we have Raging Fist, don't we? Dun 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 dun. Gear and icons. Oh, we don't. Maybe we don't, actually. Maybe I'm talking nonsense. You're right, I don't. Wind up is pretty good. I like the square one. It takes so much stagger damage away from people when they're staggered. I love it. Okay, moving on. You swap the fist for the NATO. No, I've got both. I've swapped the I swapped thunder for NATO. Again, but in the meantime, I've got Big Boy coming up for me. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I got him. Beautiful work. Is Mario here? Hello, Mario. How are you? Slap, 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 slap. Oh. Hey, sir. What is that? Stop it! No, no. No, 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 no. Limit break. He's huge! He's a big beast! Orcish Warlord. Don't worry, we'll slap him. We'll slap him. Over here! Get him! This one! To me, boy! Dodged it. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, that missed. That missed. That missed. That didn't miss. Get away from me, please. Big boy, big boy. Dodged it. Death noise before? I've never heard that 
that death noise before. Oh, Ben. Ben, you proper died. Yeah, Mario, I think it's been I think it's gonna be for a few weeks. Ask Ben about it later. Have I gotta do is it just Big Boy I have to do again or is there a selection? Okay, it is just me and Big Chunk. Okay, we're not gonna die. We're not gonna die! Ouch, yeah. Okay, all right. Get up! Limit break. I'm gonna get it. Don't worry, I'm gonna get it. He's doing something? I dodged it, thank god. I don't like it. I don't like it. Tornado. <laughs> His official Square Enix name is Big Chunk. Mega Chunk. Oh, he's staggered. That's beautiful. If you're worried about it, don't be. Oh! Okay, maybe maybe be a bit worried. Stop it. No. 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 That's nice. Dodged. Okay, I'll stop his attack. him this is the agora where the city's leaders gather oh my god there may still be survivors inside they appear in the overlay chat how do you mean hanoida you talking about the oh the 7 tv thing yeah so if anyone missed this last week we got five of well i say we i got five of my emotes reported and removed even though because they were different variations of booties Different booties, booty type emotes, and they got reported and removed. <laughs> they weren't even that bad. One of them was a dog. One of them was just a little puppy, uh, a corgi butt. But yeah, five of them are gone. But we've added them to Seven TV instead. Thank, uh, big up, big up, Raj for doing that. I hope you don't mind the game ending when you finish because I still don't get it. The internet is divided. Uh, what about the plot? You mean? Not understanding the plot? Well, at, least we'll, at least we'll actually physically have Ben to help us navigate the story if we need to. We can be like, Ben, help. Because Twitch is dumb and so well. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, JFast. It's always right. Hi, Pete. Hi, Jess. Dark Monarch, thank you for the follow. Nice to meet you. Oh, boss fight arena. Please no. Please no. I've just had a mini boss. Don't need another one. Let's not, let's not do it again. Please. Where is your 
Oh yeah, he's resistant to it, isn't he? Because of everything else. What a massive raid. Harry, I've got all of my alerts turned off for the playthrough because I'm recording it, so I'm so sorry that it didn't get notified to me, but Harry, thank you for the massive raid. What were you playing today? Or not playing anything at all? It says just chatting. Hey, devils, you're not new here. That's a lie. That is a lie. Harry, thank you so much. That is such a lot of people. You are so kind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. That is massive raid. Lots of Overwatch. Interesting. Who do you play as out of interest? I've never seen you play shooters before. I'm clearly not paying attention. Clearly not paying attention. Guys, welcome. This is my first playthrough of Final Fantasy 16. I voice a few characters in this game, so I've got everything turned off so I don't miss any of the story because I'm very easily distracted. Um, so yeah, it's my first playthrough of FF16. Support roles. Okay, I like that. That's cute. That is cute. Also, whilst you're here, what is your star sign, Harry? Because I've been thinking about this. I feel like it will tell me so much about you. Um, we Jamie, thank you for the follow. Hi, Momag. You're an Aries? No way. I have to tell Maggie because she is too. And she really likes you. Maybe that's why you like each other because you get on. Uh, Castaclism, sorry. Castaclism is also an Aries. Um, JJ, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome in. I'm, an, I'm a voice actor and a variety streamer. I play stuff that I've worked on and stuff that I haven't. Uh, I love video games even aside from being an actor. So, um, yeah, you're so welcome. You are so, so welcome. Thank you for the follow. Hi, Twilster. I have this installed but not had time to play yet. So I wanted to come in the raid and we'll have to lurk. Of course, do not worry. If you don't want spoilers, I completely understand. We've, we're about maybe 90% of the way through. We're on chapter 56 of 68. But there's quite a lot of side missions, so I still think it will be a couple of streams till we finish it. Ares gang for the win. Anna is an Ares magnet. I hope not. They're a, a bundle of complications, shall we say. I still can't work Ares out. It's one of the star signs that I still struggle with, with figuring out. I'm going to have to do uh, a case study on Ares people. You're Ares as well? I'm going to have to do a case study. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Harry. If you've got to go rest after your raid, I completely understand. And um, Raj, do you mind giving me a timestamp for when this was? For when I edit? Raj, do you happen to... Do you, do you mind messaging me that on Discord? What's Aries? You're also an Aries? Of course, you're called Aries. I know nothing about my star sign or what it means about me. This is even better. Harry, prepare for a large DM from me after stream. I'm joking. But also, am I joking? Am I? Um, am I? I'm joking. Okay. Kicking some booty. How are you not dead? Okay, me and my dog. What about Aquariuses? Oh. Oh. Mercy, what are your pronouns? You've caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no less from you. This is his boss fight? This is his fight? Me and him now? Right now? You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men. Like you and me. I feel like he's going to be really difficult. I feel Orbit like he's really ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. Please don't hurt me. They are pure. No, I'm not in the mood. They are divine. The sky looks nice. What? Just as a side note. And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. That doesn't look comfy, bro. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. Oh, no. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the man of House Harvard. And you will yield! Will I? Or not. Okay, Shadow Knight. Did someone gift a sub? Shadow Knight, thank you for the gifted sub. And Jonesy, my love. It is so good to see you. 
We need to talk about Wednesday, don't we? Parried him, parried him, parried him. I'm trying to work out what he's doing. He's just kind of doing a bit of acrobatics. Didn't like that. Dodge? How do I how do I get out of that? Okay. I will not yield. I thought I dodged that. Seriously? Okay. God, I wish he would stagger. Why is he not staggered yet? Please. Counter, 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 counter. Come on. Stagger, man. Oh, he's popped up. He's got the moves. He's got the moves. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. Yeah, you're boring me. Let's do something it is interesting. Just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame. What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Nuthos. Oh dear. Oh yes. dear. High flock, I'm playing, I'm playing. How are you? Dodged it. Take that. Asshole. Ouch, no, he got me there. You got me, you got me twice. You didn't get me the third time. Stag it. Let's go. Punch him. And then, tornado. Sick and toggle. 16,000 stagger damage. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Woo! What are you doing with that? Okay, I'm still trying. Limit break. Okay, he's almost halfway. He's almost halfway. This is good news. Oh, freaking hell. You got me good then. Dodged. Okay, he was <laughs> he was boring me before and now he's pretty strong. One is seldom enough. Would What's that? What are you me? doing? What's this move? Actually, I wouldn't. Don't like it, don't like it. No, no. Bruh. Doing. Okay, he's, he 
he's beefy. He's beefy. Okay, okay, okay. I'm mashing him. Still bored, not at all. He's, he's... Enjoying yourself? Just try. Okay, 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 I'm gonna limit break again. I dodged it. Thank, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord above. Okay, you got me. Ouch! Oh no, it's the worst one. It's the worst one. It's the worst one. It's the worst one. I don't like it. It's very warm. Oh, I did it! 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 Dodged again! Oh, oh, let's go! Let's go! You proud? Oh my God! He's doing it again! Help! Help! Lord above! Lord above! Help me! We kill him by a tornado. You're finished. Oh. Little pun in there. Just a small cheeky cheeky pun. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love how many of you are Aries. I just scrolled up in the chat and so many of you are actually Aries. Key to parrying is acting like everyone is intentional. Every parry or every attack. Easy clap. Hi Blades, welcome in. Hi Caleb. Thank you, Blaze, for the follow. What did he give me? Used in crafting? I'm guessing he's given me something that can make a good um, sword. So maybe I can make a better sword now with that thing that he just dropped. The oh, he's covered in blood. Strong. You feeling okay? You got a little something just... My leash. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well... You okay? Clive! Yoo-hoo! Hey, bro. You're all right. Just about. As are you, I see. Just about. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. Yeah. <sighs> I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. That doesn't make any sense, Joshua. What do you mean, nothing I hope? so soon, Mythos. Hi. It's the king. Oh, no. I was going to say nothing Indeed, about Aquarius is fuzzy. Nothing at all. Kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Hi, Bob. Warden of Ash and king of Walu. Oh, you're giving yourself your introduction. That's a bit cringe. A bit cringe. Get back. Just me versus him right now? <laughs> Something funny? Dad jokes?
Let's just go. Let's just go. He's... No. No, no, no. No. Clive. You're embarrassing yourself. Obviously, it's not going to be that easy, is it? He's got one, one hand behind his back. Defensing genius. One hand. I know he's like... Giga Chad. I expected more of the boy who bested my Lord Commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The Lord's vessel. Your the disrespect purpose. never seems to end. All the pain and my suffering. Purpose. To surrender my mind and body to that thing. Ifrit or Ultima. Ultima. Because in a way, when you become the dominant, you also sub like succumbing to it as well. No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. Not even you slash boss fight? You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. Oh no. Oh no. Is he gonna become the horse? Or is he just... Okay, that's better. Okay, it's okay. He's not a horse yet. Try it. The music is incredible right now. Nice sword. Credits? You are as weak as all the rest. <laughs> Joshua! It's okay, he's not dead, he's not dead, he's not dead. We're okay, we're okay. Just but a scratch. Jill? If Jill dies, I swear. We can't Hurry. have Jill die. They, 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 they still need to have a kiss. Hurry. They haven't kissed yet. She can't die before the kiss. <laughs> Power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crush. Such a waste. Oh, this is Mid's ship now. Okay, so it wasn't her ship before in the water. Oh my gosh. We're Will in the you hospital. Be all right? The I know. Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. We just need a paracetamol. This place is remarkable. Or not fitting it must have been no small feat. Give me an aspirin. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No, Ooh, guys, we got Barnabas bread. may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. We've got a bread basket. Do you want some? 
But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew. Oh, so he chose not to kill him. <sighs> us, me, us. Allow me, your lordship. Bread and wine. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. I know, Harry. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? She's feeling guilty. It's not her fault. No one made her. Him. I wouldn't go that far. Hey, he's up. He's up. Alive. You're awake, my boy. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> All I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. You can see a bit of Sid in her face. Don't Aww. you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Are we romancing with now? No, I didn't think so. She's just special because Jill she's Sid's come back. daughter. Sid, Jill didn't come back. She's not what dead. Do you I mean? would. No, she's okay. I bet she's. She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. No, no, no. No. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. How can you as tell? As long as it does, we can be safe. How can they? How can they tell alive. that? How can they tell that? We must pursue the Black Galleon. They just feel it in their bones. Jill will be with the king. The I'm force, sure of it. Kevin. Well, good luck catching him. The force, Kevin. Because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? We fix the boat. <laughs> well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings. If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose you might still have a few pages in his stores. Hey, Norwegian again. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. I think the dominance can feel it to this presence. Mad. So they would know. Perhaps. If Jill was dead. really won't save itself. And she's not. I mean, I already feel in my gut. And I'm not even a dominant, but I know that she's not dead. I can feel it in my bones. My mortal bones. That she's fine. You love her accent? Do you really? Every, a lot of people have been coming in being like, what is that voice? Like, where is she from? Um, okay, hide away again. Are you sure you're not a dominant? What would my what would my icon be? Do you think? If I was an icon, what do you think I would be? Bo Boba T? Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. I'd become one big Boba T, and then I would, I would well, a fat chocobo. <laughs> a fat chocobo. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Let me tell you a story. Oh, Life. no, I just want a potion, please. All right. Them rumours wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. 
Steady so on. They give me access to a realm wide community of like minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. A Facebook group? On the condition I sold to him and he's alone. Okay. Was that the first time you met Sid? Oh. Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. Sid backstory law? He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. It's Tell a watermelon me about his plan the mother crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An oh, opportunity this, for this the likes of me to mint gill. It's really nice. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest dam in the twins. And that's when he had me. Is that a Sid, Sid impression? I did my stores that day and moved into the Hardaway proper. She trusted him and after the that. the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest dam. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. Aww. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. My OCD is kicking in that you didn't pull that cap off. I was scared that it was going to go all over the controller. Let me get it off now, hang on. It's like stuck. Rest in peace, monitor and keyboard. Help! I got it! Wait. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I, I got it. But it also kind of pulled off half the bottle as well. <laughs> Just uh, thank you for the claps. Thank you very much. <laughs> the applause was definitely needed. <laughs> She's wobbling. Must be a good plant. <laughs> Karen. Um, Karen's taken the entire game to warm up to the player, which it's it's strange. Like it almost feels a bit too late because at this point, she gets a side mission a little bit later, and then. But that point, anyway, Clive. I don't know. I don't know about the timing. I don't know about the timing of it. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. But I do, I do have love for her. Of course I do. It's better I'll be here. Uh, two of those. You'll not find a better price than that. Oh, the rune blade is better than my current one. Is that all? Let me see though if he can make one that's better than that. Two seven five. Bottle cap zero and a one. Or Use the forge. I'm saying for you, dear. Oh, 285. So much better. So much better. So basically, you can either buy things with money or craft them. Because that's exactly what she was selling me, wasn't she? But with him, I can reinforce it as well. Hang on. Yep. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And then... Oh, that goes down. Oh, dear. Oh, no. 23, so how much do I lose? Oh, I only lose one HP. So that's okay. It last you a good while. This one's up by both. Not bad, if I do say so And then myself. reinforce it. Yeah, that should do you. Reinforce this too. 295. You can thank me later. And the belt, I can do better too. Yeah, that should do you. It's a thing now. The cap is attached for easy recycling or something. Oh. Aren't those caps purposely attached nowadays? Oh, I see they're meant to stay on. That's why it was so difficult to take off. It literally says it on the cap. It says it. Raj. Raj is the problem. Raj is the problem. Raj is making me rip this off. When the environment is screaming, Raj, no, keep it on. It's for waste and recycling and the environment and the planet. And Raj is like, my OCD though, take it off. 9,000 IQ. It literally says, my camera is mirrored, so you can't read it directly, but it literally says, I am attached to recycle. <laughs> oh no. Well, sorry. Well, you're not detached now, are you? Exactly. So shut the hell up. I was baited. I was fully baited. 
My bad, my crazy American ways of removing bottle caps. So is this just in the UK or something? Hi, Coco. The caps are everywhere like that. In Germany, we've got that too in here in Croatia. So uh, has America not quite gotten this yet? Just an EU law. All of Europe. When did that happen? I'm literally, this is the first time I've ever been aware of it. I'm learning so much. Saturday cup is the only day to ruin keyboards, not today. I was thinking that, Spazzy. I was thinking about when she spilled her drink all over the keyboard. God bless her. Okay, not in Australia. Okay, so it's just the EU. GDAM, welcome in, by the way. Nice. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Nice to meet you. Um, America has those caps for ketchup. Just for ketchup. Nothing else? I'm learning something new every day. Every day. Speak with Otto. Of course. Where is he? Let me check my memory room. We've got new things here now. We've unlocked... Uh, this? We've also unlocked... Oh yeah, we've got Sid's go goblet here too. And what did she give us? This. There we go. Full of herbs and stuff. We've got loads of bits now. Hedwig is there resting. Hello, baby. Just gonna check if we've got a letter from Taya because I love her. Anything from Taya? Nope. It's from Karen. Nope. From Quentin. Oh. I wasn't expecting a letter from from Yote. I thought I thought that was Barnabas for a second. They look similar for a moment. It's been a bit since I've been able to make it in. You were playing some strange, scary shooting game, but I enjoyed watching it. Strange, scary shooting game. Were you? Do you mean Doom? I was playing Doom a few weeks back. Do you mean Doom? Any kind of environmental lay or anything, we don't have it in the States. Anything that it, anything about the environment, the States go, sorry, what? Oh, Martha wrote to us. Lou Ball wrote to us. Isabel wrote to us. Clive, you have the town's thanks for helping us get rid of the thralls, but we, but we are neither of us so naive to think we have seen the end of their like. Good Felipe has taken to seeing what they were prepared for the ghouls to come once again calling, but I often worry the rank of captain has begun to weigh heavily upon his shoulders. Okay. Just as I imagine the same might be said of you and your burdens, but remember, should the weight ever become too much, you needn't stand alone. Our hearts and arms remain ever open. Dot, dot, dot. As do the veil's doors. Full stop. Thank you, Isabel, for the proposition. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, I didn't realize I had loads of letters. Oh my god, I've got loads of them. Okay, Lou Ball's letter. Just quick checking. Oh, her! Eloise! And him. I've forgotten what his name is. Theodore. Eloise's brother, correct? Is there anything more disappointing in this game than desperately wanting a letter from Taya and it turns out it's from Karen? <laughs> Hey, warrior. I am. Yes, I am. Have you watched it? Oh, that's nice. Nice to meet you. Hi, Max. Many people find it annoying. I think the attachment thing should be a bit longer. Yeah, it feels like it feels like as you drink, if it was still stuck to the bottle, it would like scratch your mouth because they, they're quite sharp. The plastic on those things is quite aggressive. Trip to the veil. Pause champ. Okay, there we go. All of my letters are red. No wrong door. No, it's not the wrong door, actually. I was the... Sorry. God's sake. Hello, Lucas. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. Speak with Otto. That we can do. Rolling, rolling, rolling. If Racing. it's knowledge you seek, we've told I wonder where Doris is. What's she up to? I've not seen her in a while. I reckon Doris has gone like a, on a solo excursion. Maybe Doris is on one of those oh, silent retreats. You know you can go away and just not speak to anyone? I bet Doris is doing that. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling? Look at this. Oh, indeed. Desiree. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is redeem... everything we've received and everything promised. High Cleric's Medallion. All yours. What does that do? 
You earned this. 1,500 ability points. Come again. I may have more for you. Okay, she's given us a new necklace. What was, does the new necklace do? High Cleric's Medallion increases healing potency of high potions by 25%. Not worth it. Because I've got one that increases potency of potions in general by 40. So, I think that's better. Slightly increases Torgal. Defense by 30. What I think what I've decided to do with my gear is equip three things that increase things in like a general way, not specific things. Not like specific abilities powered up or specific things powered up. It's more kind of like in general. Defense, 30. I can precision dodge and my potions are better. I prefer just a general upgrade than a specific upgrade. You know, cover all the bases. So just a regular day. Muzak. Apparently elevator music is technically called like Muzak, isn't it or something? Okay, those are the hunts. I'm just gonna say a very quick normal hello to Taya because no, no reason really. Just because she's a great, great friend. <gasps> Where is she? What have you done with her? You tell me where she is. Shall I read her diary again? Oh, it's the same thing. It's when she said that she's going to tie me to the bed. The next time he comes to me for treatment, I'm tying him to the bed. I'm here! I'm here for treatment! Tire! Oh no, where is she? She retired? <laughs> Hi, Remix. Where are you from? Your voice is amazing. I'm just... Yeah. Regular, regular old English voice. England, London, Britain, all of the above. Taya, where are you? Is she in the pub or something? It says here that once turned, the clash. Where's she gone? If Amber and the Lazarus are gone. Did she has she actually gone somewhere that I should know where she is? Your English is from where? England. England. Okay, Taya has gone missing and I'm gonna pretend like it doesn't matter. It's fine. I don't need to know where she is all the time. We're not that close anyway, so whatever. I don't mind. This game resembles Assassin's Creed. Kind of. It's like this is the first time Final Fantasy's kind of had this kind of setting. For me, for me, it feels like a cross between Game of Thrones and again. Oh, what's the other game that this reminds me of? There's another game. I don't actually think it was Assassin's Creed. Someone said it reminds them a bit of Souls as well. It's like a mixture of three different things. That's it, Witcher. People are saying that it's very Witcher as well. It's like Game of Thrones and The Witcher and bit of souls mixed in all sorts of stuff going on really and devil may cry yes and the the combat director is the same as devil may cry 5 mario thank you for gifting a sub to remix cj i missed your 20 months jonesy um five months courtesy of chicken coop was what was the why i saw your name thank you very much chicken coop for gifting jonesy that five months and shadow knight gave a sub to harry cj thank you for such a long time Thank you so much. It's nice to have you, CJ. The earlier FFs were more medieval fantasy like this. Oh, so they've actually gone back to basics. They've gone more back to scratch than before. Hello, Lady of Pawnee and Dills. And Camilo. Interesting. Okay. Main mission. Hello. God. If you're here. Yes. Where the hell is everyone else? I don't know. Don't tell me. Why are you asking me? They're all right. But it's a long story. And Monster Hunter and... You lot don't do things by halves, do you? And, and... Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. Yeah. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. 
So Mid is now heir to all of his stuff. Okay, prioritize quest. Definitely some Minesweeper vibes. Also a bit of Twilight, also a bit of... <laughs> Anna hates Lord of the Rings, she's more of a Twilight fan. Kevin! Kevin is spreading rumours and lies about me. Don't listen to Kevin. Kevin's drunk. Jill is waiting to be saved and yet we're just doing another quest. That's so true! Why are we not? If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, Why are we not focusing on Jill right now? Do you think Mid's ship will have a No, Ke ignore Kevin. I watched Twilight for the first time this year. It was a horrible experience. I wish I could take it back. Okay, I found a book. Why are we looking for a book when Jill is Jill is under duress? This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. I should have already read it. Mitchell already have read it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'd better keep looking. Jill is chill. Quite literally, because she's ice. Just realized I've been following you for two years this month. That is crazy. We've had no word from Canva for days. I know. Please tell me Mid is all right. No, she is actually all right. Genuinely. Checking the desk. What's that? What do we have here? Playing cards? Uh Sid's pipes. Pipes? Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. What, like a like pan pipes? Like doo -doo 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 -doo. We're trying to find something to finish Mid's ship. Okay, which I, I suppose Cotillon still means we're heading towards saving Jill. What is that? I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. That is cursed. I wonder if it was Mid's. Absolutely cursed. Anything inside it? Underneath? Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> Mididol, I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best. And so when choosing its place of rest, I recalled your opus, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck. Yeah, I was thinking that the end kind of dropped off a little bit there. Good effort though, Sid. Didn't rhyme though, did it? Um, so if I bring that back to mid, will she know what that means? Sid's best invention. Or should I know what that means already? Huh. Should I already know? Promising. So Sid hid something in mid's first opus. I know, CJ, isn't it crazy? What would that be? I feel like I, I would like Perhaps to... I feel like I would like to stream my favourite Tomb Raider trilogy, maybe like every other year or something, or try and do it once a year or something. I just love them, and they bring me so much joy. It could be a ritual that we do, um, like once a year or every other year or something. I'd love to do them again. Jugger, thank you for Prime! Jugger, enjoy the emotes again! Thank you so much. Find the missing piece. Is there an what? Where is the other main mission? Is it somewhere else? Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, hang on. No, that's the overarching objective, and then this is the sub objective before we get to it. Okay. Well, did you find anything? I love Tomb Raider. Possibly. Rider. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's Legend, first Anniversary, Opus and Underworld. Was. My favorite three. Opus. That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12 when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. Is Otto drunk? You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box have to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. Hmm. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Okay, we've got a bit more information. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are Like father, like daughter. I'm with Anna. Oh yeah, Rain Man, we might have similar genre interests then. He tried. He tried. Can't really beat Tomb Raider, especially for me, the PS1 and PS2. Underworld was amazing. The PS2 era of Tomb Raider was my favourite. And I I I I always say that I don't hate the ones that came afterwards. The 
um, prequels, I suppose they are. I don't hate them, I played them all, I still had fun. I just love the era of the dual pistols and the actual tombs and the boss fights and I just loved it, absolutely loved it. And we streamed them last, the year before last, I think. We should do I it again. Break it. Well, I didn't break Who it. Who broke the jukebox? What didn't you break? Nothing. Youth. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break the orchestra. Hey, massive, how are you? <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's Hello. broken. Except when it isn't. Just give it a slap. Just give it, punch it. Someone just See? give it a, a whack. And you had nothing to do with this. No, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. How to break an elevator. See? All too well. All right, out of the way. Nice. Jesper. Jesper, thank you for tier two for nine months. We have a baby. We finally got the baby. But it's tier two, so we have twins. Twin babies. PS2 Metal Gears were good. That is definitely something we're going to do on stream at some point, is work our way through Metal Gear. I just don't know which game we're going to start on, but I want to play them. Absolutely. Before the new one comes out. The remake. Annoying that Humongous was taken, though. God damn it. Yes, Pyra, I'm gonna finish it. Um, I've been so, so busy with between like trips and Final Fantasy and editing Final Fantasy um, that I haven't had a chance to finish it, but I'm, I promise you I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna probably record it. What day is it? Probably this weekend. Metal Gear Solid, Siphon Filter, and Tomb Raider were my favorite PS2 era. Oh, they sound all nostalgic. Metal Gear Solid 1, though, people were saying that it probably, it could be a bit too old to play on stream, possibly. Metal Gear 3 would be good to see you play it. Okay. I will look into it. I'm glad that if you're excited, I'm excited. So that's good. We also need to play Alan Wake before the new one comes out. And I also want to play the last Dark Pictures anthology game that I missed. I still haven't uh, played that last one. So I really want to do that at some point as well because it could be funny. Okay. Give it a kick. Clive, just give it a kick. I swear it'll work. So we caught on one of the gears. Did you break it? You broke did you it. Fix it. You broke it. Both no, of you did. I, yeah. Yes. <laughs> there. How about now? You fixed it. Sid fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Wait, how? Huh. Never heard this one before. Is this an accidental song? They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Secret song? Which one, Jess? Which one would you love? Oh, oh, is that the thing that well, will fix you? I can tell you it's important, though. What is it? Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. The drum emojis. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Hi, Tommy. Yes, us. I can't read Greek annoyingly, but you're very welcome. Is it gonna? Like father, like daughter, complete. Did we get some ability points? I really want to max out the tornado. I want to master the tornado so that when we do it, it's like the strongest tornado in the whole world. Do I have enough? Okay, the kids are happy. We've got a new song. We've got the component. Greetings, Tommy. Hey, Black Bears, thanks for the follow too. Just the two I was looking for. <gasps> Who's a patient? I was looking for you too. Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? 
Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, she says, left. She says, yeah, I love he it. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. I actually love her. Otto told me what happened in Canver. She makes me nervous. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. Love you. But if that fails... As a friend. Try to stay alive, eh? Friendly. Friendly love. Just two comrades. Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. Okay. I have to get back. The plus means it's a special side mission. So we definitely got to do that if it's got a plus on it. Do, do, do. Taya is a female Clive? Really? You see them as similar? Metal Gear should be played in released order. Oh, it has, has the first one really not aged a bit too much? Maybe I could read a synopsis. I got a crush, I do. The crush is real. Very real. Tie him down. Tie him down. Hang on, if the side mission is leading up to her doctor surgery, is the side mission for her? Oh. No. It's for you. She can't keep this up much longer. She can't keep this up much longer. What, Taya? Or the person that's on the bed? Breathe. It'll all be over soon. I mean, that sounds to me like some serious indigestion. Can I talk to her? No, I can't. Okay, fine. I'm going to talk to him. Glory to Griga. There you are. What's what? happened? Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. You must take her on a date. I tried offering just to give to us uh, instead, a rest. But she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in yeah. days. I can take her somewhere, maybe, she's if you want. She's pushing herself too hard. If she wants to go somewhere if else. If she doesn't rest soon. I don't know. Will maybe like. talk to her? Yeah. Order her to her chambers if that's what Yeah, it takes. I can think about that, yeah. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before yeah. too long. Yeah. Maybe she needs like a cinema or maybe just a walk along the beach. Maybe a starlight, midnight, stargazing or something. I know better than to order Taya to do anything, but I'll speak to her. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Okay. I pray you have better luck than I did. Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, the quest objective is to ask the most beautiful character in the game to rest and stop working, which must mean that we maybe need to take her somewhere fun. No cap Fanta. No cap. Literally no cap. Hey, Thretched. Hi, Locke again. When Jill's away, the Clive will play. Hi, Redback. Okay, I'm gonna... Brittany, hello as well. I'm gonna just see what she says. Do you feel like going on a road trip? Do you want to go to the Maldives with me? Do you want to get married? Why, sorry, um, I mean, go bowling. Well, Taya, Rodriguez worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... You do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. Damn it. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. Ex-boyfriend? It won't be much longer. The Crystal's curse has Damn almost it. finished its work. Can't compete with the if next. I had the tears, I could ease his passing. 
But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. Okay. You wouldn't tire. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. Oh, she you wants do to... Well to remember that, Rodrigue. Euthanize him. I... Wow. I, I will. Okay. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. What do you need? I can make the draft if you can bring me My what God. we're missing. We're... Just tell me what you need. A pillow? Sruj There's a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Northern, Sruj near Lorbert's Pass. A pillow is not what we're looking for. Eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Okay. Gosh, we're going to make a euthanasia potion. That's a side mission? Holy Thank moly. You, I won't forget this. No worries. And then maybe once things are less heavy we can oh, don't worry whatever sure damn it i thought maybe we we're gonna take tire for a restful date but i guess not i guess not important All side right, mission Clive. blackthorn told me you helped him out again i did it's half of that you're welcome speaking of which mm -hmm. i'm actually a bit um worried about him and you want my advice why is he so concerned about Frank's blackthorn time. All he cares about it's is Blackthorn. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. Okay. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed. You give a ring to Blackthorn? Only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought... This is the third mission related to getting Blackthorn to say how he feels? Three side missions about Blackthorn's inability to communicate and share what, what's going on with him. How intriguing that they've done that three times. Carthy, hi. Why does he care so much about Blackthorn after hard simping for Taya for five minutes? <laughs> okay, I've been fully called out, fully called out. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. Get that man some therapy. Clive is the therapy, I suppose. We are a therapist at the same time now. Jono, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a lovely day. Happy Monday. They're besties. Why Why is this bestie of his not able to talk to him himself? I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. No worries. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right. I'll meet you by the forge then. Ooh. Um, okay, so there's all of the side missions, I believe, here. They're done. We'll talk to him before we leave then. Oh gosh, there's actually two important ones. Let's get them done. Let's get them done. Especially because we're nearing the end. We've got to clean them up. Paul said it was an army of a cash. What happened? He's literally me. What, calm down. You don't talk about your feelings? I reckon with those things, practice helps. Just a little bit at a time can help. Hello, Blackthorn. It's me again, invading on your personal space and your privacy and your feelings and all that stuff again. Again. Third time. Bloody hell, Clive. I know. Not this again. I know. Oh, and you've got better things to do with your time. Talk about how you feel, that Blackthorn. be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring. Give it to us! And that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Tell me your emotions. Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? Hi, Ivy. It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. What's going on? That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. 
Who's that? We apprenticed together. Oh. Back in the day. An old flame. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. A previous enemy. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Fast has improved, though. Okay. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even Poor Blackthorn. Detailed. All of these side missions so are about what? things that he can't do. You're an armorer, not a and he needs to learn how to I'm do them. The master craftsman. Through talking about I'm his feelings. stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. True. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. I, okay. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Sultan. Okay, I'll Very go well. talk to him then or something. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Relax. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. Gal. It's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Gallagher 07. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's his name is then? In Dravojd, my old village. Dravojd. He won't have left. All right. He's the chief. Oh, he's the chief Dravoshd, of the village. Eh? Just north of the fields of Karava. Got that, Clive? Yep. Meet us at Dravojd as soon as you can, yeah? Yep. And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Yep. Good luck with that. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mind giving us a recap. So we killed Barnabas's right hand guy who was called. Oh my gosh. I've just forgotten his name. We killed Barnabas's sidekick, or like head of his army. Harvard. Yes. Or slip, slip near. What? <laughs> Either one. Taylor Swift. We killed Taylor Swift. Yeah. We got Taylor Swift. Um, Jill was fighting off Barnabas so that he didn't follow us. We came back here. Dion's left. Uh, we're doing a side mission for Taya. Um, and we, we've got a component for midship. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Yes. Vaguely. I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. Why not? I fear the soil here does not agree with them. You want to get some soil? However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to Should hear it. Should I go it. get you some soil? I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Marry them. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. Mm -hmm. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. So go get some. I believe that by grafting a morble to a Morgan beard, near the, the appendage's mist. wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients near, might like, the well ether stimulate floods? the flower to bloom. Okay. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. What? <laughs> I love that to agree to it is going. What's one vine? What is a simple bite on the bud between friends? If you know the film then you know the film. If you don't, then it just sounds weird. Sorry. Um, maybe our master craftsman isn't as much of a master yet. No, it's true, Nick, actually. I know what you mean. Having I love these side missions because the man's a master of his craft that refuses to stop getting better. It's true. It's nice to keep going back, especially because he's the same character where this is happening to you. You go back to him three times and he just wants to keep getting better as a person. And it's quite nice. It's quite nice. I don't know what you're talking about. Still haven't finished this game. Greetings, Crazy Kid Daniel. We are pretty near the end. We're just tying up loose ends before the story kind of starts wrapping up, I think. We've got about ten, nine or so missions left, baby. Maybe. Did I just call you guys baby? Sorry. We've got nine missions left, baby. Maybe. It's been t two hours, should you call Ben? That's an excellent point. Excellent point. Okay, let me message him. Okay. Or I could. Okay, 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 okay. I need to, I need to get off stream by um, 6:45 today, 
because I have to do something at seven. So I just have to get off 15 minutes early. We could call him. Okay. Could call now. Ben is him. This is Ben Star. He just texted me before saying, do you want to have a call and I can speak to you, speak to you on the stream. Could call now or at the end of playing in hour and a half. And then and then I can have and then talk to him for the for the last half hour. Maybe. Was that a Madagascar? Yes, it was Madagascar. Yes. Hello, yeah, your finest. Thank you for the follow. Anna called us baby. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary mobile. That is correct. A single vine. As for the mobile, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. Oh, not the hunt. Timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? I don't know. Ooh. Which FF16 is on main YouTube 7? Which FF16 is on main YouTube 7 remake is on archive? Wait, why is that highlighted me? For some reason, did you tag me, Raj? Or are you talking to AJ? Oh, it, like, it tagged me almost. It's gone red on my screen. Asia, thank you for the follow. Hi, AJ. Oh, I see you were replying to AJ. Yes. FF7 remake playthrough is on my VOD archive and then FF16 I've put on my main because it's a, a game that I've done voices in. Sorry Raj, it went bright, it was, I thought you were talking to me. My bad. Okay. Ben is there. Let me make sure that I've undeafened myself. We could call Ben whilst we go do a hunt. Couldn't we? I guess. Let me put it in my title. Benjamin. The one and only Benjamin. I'm just going to put in the I'm going to put bra in brackets on my stream title. on phone to Ben Starr so people are wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> Hello, Dimmy. Dimmy, we're about to call, um, we're about to call Ben who plays Clive. I think he's just hanging, he's having a, some downtime and he said, do you want to chat? On phone to Ben Starr, bracket Clive. Okay. Wow, I can't spell today. Brilliant. Done. Bring on Muthos. There'll be a full Q&A stream with Ben. I, I still read it as latter, but yes, later. Absa bloody lutely. Which up it's done. Eye for an eye. Hello. Hello, Ben Star. Hello, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. It's, wow. well, it's weird because I've just been literally hearing you like right now, but then this is you IRL. What would make you more comfortable if I was to just make Clive noises <laughs> the entire time? Is that easy for you? People were saying, we, we have a lot of dad jokes in the stream and someone said uh, we should get him to Good. say a dad oh, joke in, in Clive's voice. And I, uh, Do you have any dad okay. jokes to mind that you can think of? I, m the problem I always Surely. have, and I've thought this for a very long time, is I don't know any jokes none like i have n n and this Samba. this is gonna sound crazy i don't remember a single joke like i like to like have fun you know be 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 fun be fun time ben you know me fun time but ben. i can never remember a single joke not even like um, awful ones so, like why did the chicken cross the road or things like that yeah i don't i don't i'm so sorry i'm so sorry Anna. i'm letting you down straight away oh my god absolutely i i mean we're all disappointed everyone's crying actually yeah, I'll leave the stream now. Thank you. <laughs> no, come back. I'm Tell back. Ben how I you shipped Clive far. with Tyre. I was just—I I mean, you, I talked to you on the phone. How much I'm obsessed with Tyre. 
deeply yep deeply in love with her and i keep trying to like talk to her in the game and she's just not really not having any of it i don't think she's interested in us you and i are of a similar mind because michelle fox who plays her i remember listening to her voice for the first time and thinking i think this is the first time i've ever wanted to be in a relationship with a voice <laughs> i just <laughs> love her thing. was she at the rap party and i just must have not seen not said a, not said she hello was. she was yeah, she I was, was at the same we party as Talia and I didn't say it? hi. Wow. What yeah. is wrong with me? Do, I mean, do you remember the rap party? I remember at 3 a.m. trying to explain the entire plot of Final Fantasy 16 to you. Absolutely yes, we wasted. were in the kitchen. Yes. We were in the kitchen yeah. making a cup of tea. And I was like, so I was like, what's it like? And you were like, well, basically. And you gave me like a rundown of the plot. And I remember you were basically, mm. you were specifically going, talking to me about the intro, the, the first two hours. And you were like telling me about all of that happening. And I was like, that sounds super intense. And I thought, I'm never going to quite understand mm. it until I play it. And <laughs> as I was playing it, I was like, ah, I remember Ben talking about this moment. Yeah. Uh, guys, I'm a real, real fun time guy at a party, apparently. I just kind of tell you the entire plot of the game. What oh a cool God. guy. They would love that, though. You, you're a game nerd. We, lo we love that you're a game yeah. nerd. Yeah. I am um, a game nerd. At the same time, um, I'm I love nipping into your streams every now and again and just watching you do it. Are you watching um, the stream too? Right now? No. Do you want me to, do you want me to no, get into it? I'll no, do it so you I can... don't have to at all. I I'm was earlier. I was watching it earlier when you when when you died to the big chonky guy. I did die to the I did die to the chonk. I yeah, die more on the small small interactions than the big boss fights. It's embarrassing. I died in this game when I forgot to heal. It's when you forget to heal. Yes, and you're like, oh. it's exactly that. Or um, one of the creatures has got like one big finishing move, and then if that that wipes you out, it's like a one shot. And if they get if yeah. they if you don't dodge the one shot, then you're when you're gone, you are gone. Big chonk has that. Big, big yeah, big chunk had that already. You know what? Also, I was thinking yeah, of. It, you know, you told me in depth about the scene with Uncle Byron where you start acting together. Yes. Yes, and I remember you talking to me about that in depth, and you were saying how when you read it, you didn't think that it would was going to work, and then you watched it back, and you were like, "Oh my god, it's perfect." Yeah. I, <laughs> and I watched it. How modest? How modest? <laughs> You're like, and I just I, I smashed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so good in that scene. I was no, just, it was that was I a was scene so I was good. so No, I was so you were right though it. because I it's they started acting together and I thought, "Oh my god, this is the scene that he's talking about." I remember Ben explaining this to me. And then it was it was just it worked so well. I was like, "Oh my god, I, it just really did it was it was good writing because it was like such an emotional moment." I good. think it's one of my favorite scenes in the game it's, because I, I think, think so too. It's, it's much needed levity at that moment. Like it's all a bit like we're all sad. Um, and there's that, that humanity that comes through. And I think Clive works best when he's in opposition to someone who has a very different uh, kind of tempo to him. And yes. I think Byron brings that out the most. Yes, when, when Clive is in a conversation with Mid, it's like they're two such different energies at the same time. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Jesper, thank I, you for 10 gifted subs. Sorry, I just thank you so much, Jesper, you. for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jesper, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Jesper, I think I speak on behalf of everyone when I say everyone. you are the true hero. <laughs> Jesper is the protagonist of the stream. You? <laughs> Jesper, uh, you come on the call now. Jesper, um, get on the call. Everyone's saying my wounds, boy, because I think it's my favorite thing that you say. Okay. Can you hear that in the background? Someone's just taking an axle gr angle grinder to my house, apparently. Um, <laughs> the creaking. Axe? What's an axle grinder? That's also a thing. I don't know. Um, uh, my wounds, boy. Yes, um, that's the best one. It is Ben Star yeah. Wonder. It is. It is the Ben Star. It's my favorite because it you is. can keep mashing heel and you just you just keep going. My wounds, boy. My wounds, boy. Mm -hmm. My wounds again mm -hmm. and again. <laughs> yeah, because he needs to heal my wounds. I mean, how does he heal the wounds? He I've doesn't so even heal it that much. No offense just, to Toggle. Yeah. He doesn't really heal it that much at all. It's not very helpful. No Worst offense. healer in it's Final Fantasy good. history. And I've, got, I've got one of my gear is 40% potency on potions, and it's just much more helpful than Toggle to giving me like 5%. No offense. Ooh, what is your setup? What, what accessories do you have right now? Excellent question. It is. My wounds, boy. I'm going to just pop up. Oh. oh, it's telling me that I can go somewhere and do a different thingy. I'm trying to find a marble on the hunt board. And I don't know. What, did you guys see what I, I was on? Is. Do you know? I okay, know where I'll it ask is. you in a second. I have uh, defense by 30. I have potency by 40%. And then I have the precision dodge thing. I love this berserker ring so much. I 
didn't use it for the entire game. And then I saw everyone using it on stream and going, what is this amazing thing? It's so and, good. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. When you start doing the chronolith trials. Okay. Oh, the trials. Have you probably... seen Have you seen any of those? No. Should I Should I be there by, at this point already? No, maybe. Maybe. I'm on chapter 56. Mm. I will say nothing of oh. the chronolith trials not that i mean the game's already been spoiled for you anna it's really um i don't know the end I, I genuinely don't know the end yeah no i won't tell you Yet. the end i won't tell you the end at all okay um but Good boy. uh yeah there's some cool trials he's like little um i think clive's walked up to a few of them which are like hmm i can't do anything about this now <laughs> classic <laughs> Maybe I can do this uh, later in the game, roughly yeah, I feel like I'm going to come back to this stone at some point, as all people do. It's, it's a fun I love... thing. Imagine if we do that in real life, go up to going, oh, I'll go into this house one day. Will you? <laughs> I love the know? exposition sidelines when a player is like, hmm, maybe I can do something with this later, but not now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good one. That's really... Can you this do that lever again? looks useful for later. <laughs> it's like, okay, thank later. you. Later. Um, I listened to a lot of Ashley Birch in, um, well, li what Horizon? played a lot of Horizon, yeah. yeah. And I think she is an absolute master. At making them not of, seem... Yeah. Yes. Or not of just, of just kind of throwing it away. I because mean, you know, so much of, of Horizon is her talking to herself. You have to yes. do that. You have to do that well. Otherwise, yeah. It yeah, it's annoying. a real skill. And Lord knows that Ashley Birch does it a lot in Horizon. It was one of kind of the critiques and they have to take, take it down that that Aloy spoke to herself too She's much. Mo she monologues. But, uh, she does. So monologues, but you have to, and she does it yeah. so well. Um, we, in the studio, we'd talk with Ollie and Morgan, and we'd, the, the phrase that we would always use when we were doing those things, like picking stuff up or whatever, was always what Ashley Birch says in Horizon, where she, like, clicks something, and then it goes, hmm, sounds like the water's changed direction. <laughs> I remember playing What? <laughs> So sometimes, sometimes if I couldn't get it, I would just say, hmm, sounds like the water's changed direction as Clive and then just kind of say the line. Um, I remember so. doing that on stream and she's above. She's way, she's nowhere near the water and something happens and she, go, and she literally says, sounds like the water's changed direction. I remember, and I remember in that moment just kind of frowning and being like, hang on, what? How? It's an, it's an astonishing bit of game writing because it is, it is, it's ben it's bending the rules so much as to tell the player they've done the right thing. Yes, and some yeah. people wouldn't pick up on it. Some people would just go, no. "Oh, good, the water's changed direction because you can hear it." I did, and I paused it, and I think I was probably about a bottle of wine down because I love playing video games when I'm drinking wine. Okay, and I paused it and went, "What?" and I shouted the f word. <laughs> what the f? That's amazing. And then I what noted the it down and the, I came into work the next day and went, this is how we're going to do it, guys. This is the key. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Whenever it's I'm canon. in the bath, I can absolutely change when the bath water is changing direction. It's, it's a, such a loud sound <laughs> that it deafens me every time I'm in the bath. Because it doesn't make sense. No, it it doesn't. doesn't make any sense. Ben, can you see my screen and can you tell me where the marble is? OK, let me just let me get some screen up. Let me get some screen up for you. Do I have to watch it on Twitch? Has it got, yeah. has it got okay, a name? The marble. It's in. It's in uh, Rosalith. I think the one you're looking for is in Rosaria, oh, and right. you want to go down into uh, the first area that you go to, and there should be like a little, like side thing on the right hand side that looks like an arena. Right. Um, is it called making... carrot? Is the carrot? Okay. Or oh, this one. Whispering waters, Rosaria. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna. I'm gonna go there now. Do do do. do. Oh wait, wait, where are we fast traveling? Did you say? Ro Rosaria, or just um, yeah, Rosaria. So like the first place in Rosaria. But probably if you go straight there, it'll take you to Martha's Rest. You don't want to go there. That is very unhelpful. You don't want to go to Martha's Rest. You do. Okay. You do not. Three reads. Three read. There. Thank you guys. Three reads. There she is. There she is. Oi oi. Oh, oh, there you go. I'm getting like, I'm getting the best back seating ever. I don't know if you can see in the chat, we've got an emote of you. And then we've also put, um, we've also got a wine one. So the people, because you said you like playing games with wine, people are putting emotes of you with a glass of wine. Oh my God, it's perfect. 
<laughs> when, at my funeral, I hope that's how I'm remembered. Yes. Right Do you find that you are a better player with wine? Uh, I am a worse, I am a worse player with wine, okay. um, but I get more enjoyment out of it. I think I played the entirety of like the Tomb Raider games drunk and I just had the best time. We were just talking I, about Tomb Raider. It's one of my favorite franchises ever. Which ones? Old old school or new uh, ones? So the re, the re, you know, the, the rehash ones. I think Rise of the Tomb Raider is one of the most underrated classics of the modern era. Wow. Um, yeah. I'm you also, I, every time I see Octopath Traveler 2, I think of you as well. Thank because you. Because you absolutely love it. You, he won't I stop do. talking about it, tweaking about it. He's obsessed. I do. I don't shut up about RPGs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> It's good. Okay, sorry. Where am I fast track? You said not Martha's Rest. Three reads. If you go, yeah. Oh, whispering. Where? Yeah, the three reads right there. Three reads. And you see that little knobbly bit on the side of it? The lump. No, not oh, three reads. Oh, this bit. Th yeah, there. There. That lump here. That big lump. Not the whispering waters, but the lump there. No, I think the whispering. I think it's the whispering waters. Yeah. It is the whispering waters. Okay. Am I wrong? Am I so wrong here? I wish you could put. Can you? You can't put your own marker, can you? Oh, you can. I think Set. you can. Oh yeah. my god, you can. Game changed. Game of the year, right there. Done. <laughs> Mark, <laughs> okay, right. We're heading. Marker found. Marker found. <laughs> oh, I love it. What's your What's your favourite? Um... Color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your favourite color? Honestly, let Let's get into the nitty gritty. What's my favourite color? Can I guess? Red. Oh, guess. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was gonna say no, blue. No. No, no, no. I was gonna say yes. blue. Incorrect. Damn it's it. red. Red. Okay. I told you. I can't believe you got it wrong. I know. I'm embarrassed, really. Do you want to guess mine? Um, green. No, I don't think you'll guess it. Actually, I think my I feel, mine feels a bit obscure. Is it like cyan? <laughs> no, it's it's uh it's not a prime. Oh, it's not a primary color. Gold. <laughs> Why is that funny? It's the way you kind of said it like Clive as well. Gold. Gold. <laughs> Anna. Clive here. Um, gold. Is it gold? Uh, close. Silver. No, but stick with the gold. Yellow. No, but similar. Okay, you're, you're getting warmer. But uh, s similar to gold. Similar to gold and yellow. Oh no, I don't know. Green? <laughs> Green! <laughs> Green! Orange? Yes! Yes. I don't know, oh, I, thought, I thought orange and gold would have been linked. I would have thought that would help you, but yeah, I guess not. Absolutely, they are. Nope. <laughs> they are. You, they, you're, you're, not the, you're not the problem here. I am. I'm <laughs> absolutely the problem. Okay, I think I found it. I, I think, think this I is it, it, right here. It just feels like a place a marble would be. It does. Oh, okay. You've poured. Oh, no. I love that they get their own introduction. <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah, I told you. They get their own kind of like, introducing level B yeah. carrot. Meatball. <laughs> it's not a meatball. It's disgusting. It's, sounds like this is going to be a smelly one. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting our own commentary. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep him. Keep his ass. This will be a test yeah. whether I can like hold a conversation at the same time. Yeah. This is one of my favourite moves. I love the big punch. Yeah, big punches. That's what are you doing? What are you rocking with? Oh, sorry. Say it again. What are you rocking with? <laughs> what are you rocking with? I have fire, wind, and um, <laughs> earth. Heart. All of the things. Yeah. Fire, yes. wind, and earth. And the tornado. I don't know if you can see in the chat. We have a tornado emote, but every single time I use it, <laughs> it's a little Pepe going why around. Why are you still using it? We spoke about this. Why? We already why? talked about it. It's such a ridiculous move. It's not that great as well. No, it's you, but not. But you just keep using it. <laughs> it's not. It only really works for big groups of enemies. Yeah. It and does. then it's quite useful. And then other than that, no, it's not. Oh, I just wasted that for no reason. Good. My wounds, boy. Oh, we have staggered him. That is great stuff. Great news. That's really nice. I also so hate those big, uh, those things that look like eyeballs that look like Mike Wazowski. Aramans. Yeah. 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 There's a line that when you first see it where I go, I, yeah, well, I did say the line. Um, 
Uh, where it goes, do you think he can see us, boy? Of course he can. He's a floating eyeball. <laughs> He's a floating eyeball? If there's anyone that's going to see you, it'll be that. Yeah, Whoa. and then I, I think PlayStation tweeted that moment, and then people underneath it were like, um, actually, it's not floating. It's flying with wings. So, oh, oh, we get um, the perfectionist coming out, giving you the real quote. information. Um, and that is a great impression of all people on the internet who don't agree with me. Um, <laughs> I apologise. Feel free to not agree with me. That's absolutely fine. I'm not going to hold it against you. Um, ben is an open person. Yeah. Wait, yeah, what's your star no. sign again? We talked about that, didn't we? Talk about what? Your star sign. We had a, we talked on the phone and you told me what your star sign was. And I forgot. I'm an Aries. No. I'm a sweet, sweet, sweet Aries. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I forgot that. We were literally just mm. talking about that today. <laughs> I was saying it's that the Aries hardest sign to decode. Oh, is it? I just, I find them the, the hard, no! That was, dead? that was very, very close, very close. This carrot needs to just piss off. I'm only doing this because the side mission is, is meant to be a plus one, so it's meant to be special. Yeah, I know what it is. I know what you got to do. And then just crack on with this story. You've got some good stuff going on, so. Okay. Yes. Um, the chat voted that I do it. every single side mission. They voted that I right. will, don't leave a single one, so that's where okay. we are at. No stone unturned. No stone unturned at all. I get that. Did I'll you do all that. of them? Have you done every single one? I did, I did, I did, I did. Um, I, on your first I've playthrough? Done it all. I, yeah, I did everything on my first playthrough. I'm a weirdo. I'm a weirdo. It's I not like weird to, at all. Um, if I was the leader in a game, I would want to play every single second of it. So, yeah, I'm not a weirdo. I'm just very professional. Yes. Um, I also... Just as a gamer, you know me, I like to do everything. Um, yes. I would say... Oh, even like aside from whether you're in it or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 20 minutes ago, I got the Platinum Trophy on Viewfinder. Um, no. Which I, yes, I enjoyed it very, very much. Wow. Um, but I will say, Viewfinder is a fantastic game and a very chill game until the very last level. And then it's not chill. It's not chill. It is absolutely... If you've been having a nice little holiday, it's like rush to the airport and you've forgotten your passport. Forgive it's, me, but do you, do you not have also a platinum in Returnal? I do. Yeah, I do. Guys, this man has led Final Fantasy 16 and has a platinum in one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. And I still yeah. can't get past the second boss on co-op and he's got a platinum. I, and if you don't know this, I'm a remarkable human he being. He is and remarkable. pay me respect. <laughs> Um, I loved Returnal. There's a couple of people I in chat that have got, uh, I've got the uh, Returnal Platinum as well. I'm always just so impressed by them. It's it's um, it's probably one of the most stupid Platinums because it revol it revolves it involves so much um, uh, trial and error yeah. because it's procedurally generated and to get all of the ciphers. Yes, it almost feels it's, like a luck of the draw of what you end up getting, what weapons you find, yeah. whether you have a really mm -hmm. horrible time or not, or yeah. you know, whatever it And is. they're also collectibles. There are collectibles to get, but there are collectibles based on particular maps, so those particular maps have to appear. And imagine those particular maps only be appearing at the end of the game, so you have to keep playing certain levels knowing that certain ciphers aren't going to turn up until you get to the very end of the that game sucks. so it's quite hard also something that i because so I'm, I'm playing it co-op with a friend you don't level up mm -hmm. if you are if you have anyone in your party with you so i'm level yeah. one <laughs> it's so annoying i'd say it's harder on co-op i um oh, really? went i went on easy allies frame trap um last week and we were talking about co-op games and i said that Returnal co-op, I think, is one of the hardest... I think it's harder on co-op than it is on single-player. Do you think that it uh, it changes the difficulty? Yes, because you have to... Sh don't you have to share pickups and stuff as well? You... you have to share weapons. Yeah, oh, that's true. Actually, that's right, yeah. You can't just yeah. both have the same health and stuff like that. That's exactly. Point. So, it's... Returnal um, co-op stream when... Oh, my God, yes, I should get Ben on my stream to help me with that. Mm-hmm, yeah. Pro gamer right here. And then it gets the second boss and I just stand on the side and just watch you do it instead. Yeah, I'll do it. That's absolutely fine. I'm like, um, uh, let me solo her from Elden Ring. Yes, Rain. like that. Yeah, do completely you like Souls? naked, jar on a head. Do you yeah. play Souls? Do I play Souls? Yeah, do you like them? I do. I, do. I have, um, I'm a huge fan of, <laughs> I have played all of the Souls games that aren't Dark Souls games. <laughs> so I've done Bloodborne, Sekiro. Um, Elden Ring, 
Um, all well, of Sekiro them. Sekiro is meant to be tough. It's a, oh, it's a tough boy. That is a, that's, um, that's hard. If you don't learn those mechanics, it will punish you. It's mm. all about learning parrying and staggering. It's really fun. I hate anything that um, involves stances. And I started playing Ghost of Tsushima and I was like, and I, I got about 20 hours into Ghost of Tsushima and it just frustrated me so much that I had to think about stuff like that, that I was just like, no. I, Ghost came out at the right time for me to really, really love it. It was one of those games, I think all games are circumstantial. You know, mm. where do we play them in our life at that point? And Ghost came at a point where I really wanted that type of game. I'd been hankering for an Assassin's Creed style, sneak into a camp and kill everyone for no reason sort of game. Um, <laughs> I use Far Cry for that. I love, I love doing all the camps and stealth in Far Cry. That's so good. It's so good. Did you do Far um, Cry 6? No, I, I mean, the only Far Cry I ever did was 3. Oh, um, really? And I... I loved it i just for some reason i've not three done is one of the best far cry most people think three is the best one well it was the one that started the formula that that that, mm. that, 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 that they ended up copying sorry i my tongue got tied there um <laughs> Are you very saying? versatile actor yeah very versatile <laughs> yeah i don't know if you've ever had these moments when you're doing voice acting where you just sometimes come across a word and for some reason it's a word that you would never have a problem with before but just on yeah. that day you cannot speak and it just doesn't work <laughs> I've had to come out of sessions and just apologize. Just, really? I think you've, you, I'm sure you've had this, um, where you, sometimes you'll come out thinking you're the greatest actor of all time. You're thinking, <laughs> oh my God, where are my awards? And then other times you'll come out and thinking, I am an embarrassment to me. I'm an yeah. embarrassment to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I relate to the second one more. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, I can't believe that they put up with me for that because I've just had to like or sometimes a sentence has just not worked with the way that I speak and they've had to change the sentence for me or something and I've just feel so yeah. embarrassed and I come out and I'm like I'm so sorry but I think but, it's more normal than you realize because voice actors work we work alone all the time so like you never get to see or hear anything else about other voice actors or how their session goes or anything like that so you just think it's you when it's not you yeah I am um, so we work at a place often there are many places across London that are fantastic but we often work at a place called Side we um, do. and Side are positioned in North London for everyone out there if you're familiar with North London it's London North. but the northern part of it and um, it is a 20 minute walk from King's Cross station it is and if you've done a bad session that is a lonely sad walk <laughs> to King's Cross station <laughs> Because it's not a nice walk. It's not a nice walk. It's, you know, it's kind of on some like weird old motorway-ish passages and like past an old quarry. And and if you've not done a great session, you will feel it's shameful. just like, yeah, it's like the walk from Arrested Development that Michael Cera does where he's just like gloomily shuffling his feet and you're thinking, yeah, this is it. This just is, this is the entirety of my career. Kicking pebbles around. At speaking yeah. of, I feel like the chat would probably love to hear the story of how you got this part because I loved it when you told me it in the first place. Yes. Also, just so really quickly, I... Archtown, welcome into the stream for the first time. Hello, Dopo Romino and Charles as well. Are you, do, I think, Charles, did you say you were an Aries as well? Um, hello, Bashi and Mithri and White Room Gaming. And have I missed anything else? I'm sorry if I've missed any follows, but thank you so much and welcome. I'm just chat chatting to Ben Starr on the phone who plays this character that I'm rolling around with. That sounds weird. I made it weird. But uh, mm -hmm. this character. No, we are right rolling. Now, we're, all we're just rolling stopping and dropping it. and rolling. Um, because yeah. Anyway, sorry. Tell us the story because I find I think it's such a good story. Well, it's a story of of coincidences and fate, really, where I had had a terrible day, um, and I had this audition for uh, a game that was heavily codenamed, and I didn't know what it was, and it was at five thirty on a Friday. And it was to play Crazy. a very small part. He was codenamed Tristan. And um, it was to say like five lines on something that seemed quite big because they were filming our auditions. Do you remember? They're like filming them. Um, but I didn't want to do it because <laughs> I was really tired. Um, so I went in the room um, and said these lines and said like three of them, I think. And then there was silence on the tannoy. And then... Um, uh, Morgan Rushton, who Morgan. Uh, is our great friend, um, lovely Morgan, said to me, um, Beth, well, Hannah Price was there as well, our lovely performance director, um, said, um, Ben, can you read these, please? And I went, sure, fine. And I just thought the silence was because I hadn't done a very good job with Tristan. Um, 
And then they gave me some lines and I said, yeah, give me a minute. And I read these two pages of sides in my head. I kind of scanned them. And you know, as an actor, sometimes you just go, I'm just going to go with the flow. Um, just and in a I just... not thinking, doing mood. Exactly. Just let the kind of the words do the work. So don't overthink it is my advice to any actor really it was just say stuff and i um i went for it and i kind of connected with the lines and they were quite emotional so you know do you remember what who's... scene it was that was the audition oh there's loads of them there's loads um i definitely did the i remember really vividly there's a scene in the tavern with sid where he goes um years ago i watched an icon kill my brother right in front of me and i did nothing that one where he's like looking into a cup it's before they go and um attack they go attack care northern really early i remember that uh -huh. and then i also did the barn scene the barn scene with jill when he's on the floor looking up at the moon before he goes oh that and get... scene oh i love that one that's a good yeah. scene and where kind of clive in it breaks down and i broke down in this in the thing you know oh. i if what's good for if i killed all of these people then what am i good for um so yeah that was and that was just a, that was straight up sight read um, and um, uh, it went well. And then I remember leaving and um, uh, Morgan said to me, can I swear on this stream? No, yes, can I? Yeah. He grabbed my hand and he said, that was fucking amazing. And I went, thank you. <laughs> and left and thought nothing of it. Um, and uh, yeah, and four days later I got, um, I got a call saying, congratulations, you're the lead. In a vi in a video game, because even um, that in uh, itself is a is a is a feat. Because there's so many voices in games, so being the main voice in itself is such a big achievement. And then to find out that it was yeah. this franchise when you were already a fan of the franchise, big time, big time fan. Like Final Fantasy VIII changed my life. All these games did, um, and wow. uh, to kind of be a part of that still hasn't really sunk sunken in because a lot of the you know the positivity and stuff that comes from it is online it's not a it's not a real world thing i don't mm. rarely i don't i rarely meet people who it has affected even though that i know there are many people who do get in contact and want to say how much the game has has really affected them and i think that's the power of these games is the story it's the emotional core um whatever the mechanical systems whatever the soundtrack whatever graphical fidelity i think um right from final fantasy the first one to now it's if you like it it's because the story resonates with you mm -hmm. um and to i don't be think any franchise that... can be so can go, can run for so long if it's not to do with some kind like some kind of emotional resonance with an audience yeah because even if yeah. gameplay is brilliant but the that doesn't connect with anybody it does it still doesn't have many legs to run yeah that's for me it's all it's all but it, this game this game all i had a part in all i had a say in with this video game is trying to make clive as relatable as possible or human as possible within the boundaries of him being you know a super powered hero mm -hmm. um and trying to find those moments where we kind of really make him feel honest and and stuff and that was our, what our pursuit was mm. um and it was it's cool it's so cool. cool um and uh yeah i suppose in maybe like 10 years time i'll sit down at my fire like Thanos and just kind of rest and think about think about what I've done except I hadn't destroyed half the universe um <laughs> uh, yeah I'll think about it um it really kind of take stock but um until now I'm just kind of riding the wave and being silly online really it's the best thing to do it's the best yeah. thing to do yeah you at least you know you can never lead another Final Fantasy because they've all got different leads effectively haven't they exactly so I'll never <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime yeah. thing so yeah but Ride yeah, the wave. I don't have the pressure of that anymore. I've already done it. I've already done it. <laughs> yeah, you've um, done that. Yeah, um, I've done it. Ticked it off. Striker um, in chat says, ask him if Baldur's Gate 3 has sucked him in yet. Um, uh, cards on the table. I am waiting to play it on PlayStation 5. So um, I will play it then. I Hashtag am sponsored. So, I'm joking with so <laughs> <laughs> um, Couch I, Couch gaming is, is still a good vibe. PlayStation is... Oh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Couchy. I can't... I, I, I see it. I was very fortunate to be uh, at what every... First Friday of the month is a BAFTA Games social that happens where people from the video game industry in the United Kingdom go to the celebrated BAFTA in Piccadilly and they and they hang out and, and have some drinks and last Friday was a BAFTA game social and there were loads of the team, the creative team and the uh, actors from Baldur's Gate 3 there and they were just having a right old piss up and it was wonderful. <laughs> 
um they should re- and i was just saying to all of them you should be so proud because it's what a wonderful thing what a wonderful thing to be a part of this amazing year of gaming and um it's been a really neil special newborn. year yeah neil newborn who plays a starry and we just had the biggest love in big game you're excellent you're excellent you and, hang up um, no you hang up yeah exactly exactly and i'm so i mean Baldur's happy Gate, for everyone uh, involved pretty in much that. broke steam the day it came out people were, people couldn't even download it. it it blew up on steam thrilled blow it up thrilled. um i think it hit over eight eight hundred thousand concurrence which is just massive for a crp just massive for any video game um, I'm so happy for them, and Aww. I can't wait to to jump in myself and and create. I I think I'm going to be quite chaotic. I don't yeah. think I'm going to be even chaotic. I've never good. played anything like I'm... it before. I've been trying to work out whether I stream it or not because I've wor- I worked on it, and I wonder if if it would be like too far removed from anything I've ever played, or whether I would actually really enjoy it and just get involved. So I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, are, are you playing it right now? No. Nope. Obviously, you're playing 16 right now. No, finishing this first. I, I kind of do one at a time. Most mostly, I find it hard to juggle. <laughs> I move through mm-hmm. one game, finish it. Mm. Yeah, Enjoy it. I um, I I can't wait to do that. I have just started Dredge, so I'll be playing Dredge. Ooh, Dredge, uh, um, seen. Yeah, um, I just want to do a bit of fishing. That's Why all. Why not? I do. A bit. Especially when it, when when you're playing something super emotional and heavy. I mean, FF sixteen is super emotional and heavy. It's great, it is, but it yeah. is heavy. And then when sometimes when you're not when you've just completed it, the the thing you want to do next is something just like Stardew Valley or something just cute because it's so yeah. it's and that's exactly what those games are so perfect for. So perfect. I was having a chat with uh, another colleague of mine the other day, and we were talking about just that about uh, games. And how you balance them. And I think, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, mm. games are so circumstantial. Mm. Where were you in your life when you played it? Absolutely. Did it hit you at that point in your life? And I think that you do need to balance it out. I used to have this... Um, I, when I played Elden Ring, I think the next game I played after that was like Tiny Kin. Like, you just need to do... Instead of playing a massive open-world RPG that is incredibly hard and dark i was like i want to be a little man running around a house collecting little things to do errands for me that's what i wanted and both of those games hit because of them being back to back with each other yeah you know i wanted something with a little cutesy art style totally. that was in direct contrast and i think it's the most important thing i have the forest is that for me for some reason it's so mindless and yet so peaceful it's like you get to still have the threat of of like combat looming but you can still build and like it feels mm. it, you go through seasons and night and day and anything that's got kind of like a time cycle i find really really lovely i think we're so lucky that you know there are more games than ever before Completely. um and you can play whatever you want i think covid I has think played it... a massive part in the gaming industry booming honestly i, I don't know I, I think it will have lasting effects what covid has done to the gaming industry I mean, hopefully, the hopefully for the better. I feel like yeah, we're in, in, a, in, a, made... in a dangerous place at the moment for the worse I because think, I think yeah, it expanded quite yeah. quickly, and maybe we're seeing a lot of layoffs as a result. But oh, I really hope that we it finds its footing and and video games. I think twenty twenty three is the year that it is because of COVID, mm. and I don't necessarily mean for the better. <laughs> I mean that it's it's because it those games probably should have come out earlier mm. and now we just have all of the amazing games that had to be postponed and stuff and now all we're just going we're just dumping them in 2023 because they should have come out a year or two before but were stopped because of it yeah. um it is a monstrous year um for just top 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 tier games that are you know running on all cylinders God, the gaming but, um, awards I, next year is gonna be very interesting yeah i mean you know everyone kind of thought that zelda had it locked up but people are loving Baldur's gate 3 and we've still got starfield and we've got oh, um as well. yeah just what 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 games we have available to us um what are you playing stray gods recently i was playing stray gods yeah i really want to play that um yeah I... we were sponsored to play it a week early so they well, i was only allowed to play act one Okay. Um, and I accidentally went into Act Two, but wow. it was okay. It was okay. They okay. Gave me... You didn't. You didn't get in trouble. No, I wasn't in trouble. They also didn't tell me okay. ahead of time, so I didn't know. But um... it's, it's their fault. It's oh yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man as well. Spider Man. That is going. To... I. We guys. We're so lucky. Spider Man. 
I think that is the Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Miles Morales are just pure joy to how play. Did he, how does Spider-Man do that? I can't even flip my wrist like that. This is as far yeah. as I can go. You're not supposed to like. I think you've got it in it you. Back? Did you ever th have you ever thought? Okay, if you were going to get bitten by anything and get its powers, what would you want? Oh my gosh! Yeah. When you say powers, you mean an animal? So a, a just an animal's <laughs> life. Yeah, not as, no, it's not. <laughs> you freaky Friday into this animal. Um, no, like, I don't know. You just like get, so like, you know, you get, you get web powers or you're a wasp, you can sting people or you're a chameleon, you can change color and blend in with the background, stuff like that. Ooh, how about a kangaroo so I could have a pouch and I take things around with me? I love that you asked for just satchel space from the kangaroo's powers. <laughs> I was looking for cargo space. <laughs> you could have jumped really high, oh my moved really God. quickly. Yeah. I'm just You're here for more for, inventory storage. For, uh, that's the video game built in. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have an extended satchel. Yeah. Someone, built have you played Skyrim in. and been over encumbered? Like you're no, stuck in the middle of nowhere. Fallout. Like... For, oh, being over encumbered in Fallout is the most frustrating thing. <laughs> it is. I want to loot every box I find. And it's like, you can't bring that yeah. uh, windmill with you. You cannot bring that typewriter with you. Put that chair back yeah. and you can't take that hairbrush and that yeah. lead weight. <laughs> Don't bring that with you. Yeah, I'd much rather have 85 rocks than this really overleveled weapon. You're like, I might need those rocks. Uh, you're like, I, I don't know, I could convert them to something and it'd be very useful rather than take this massive sniper rifle, which could be... <laughs> I'm like that with packing as well. Like, I'll be On like, holiday? just in case, this thing that has never happened to me before, I need to pack this and See, I don't have very room for the things that you, are quite essential. That's an Aries thing. Is it? Yeah. Do you, do you find that you are an overachiever and you uh, hold yourself to impossible standards? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that not an Aries thing? Mm hmm. Aries vibes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you tell me if I'm an overachiever, Anna. Look at me. It's just. <laughs> you're like, you're talking to Clive. I mean, do you oh think God, I am? Who are you, ta who are you talking well, to have right I now? I've already done no, it. I, um, yeah, I, I, do, I do care a lot. And I do. Um, I'm, I'm not an overachiever, but I would like to achieve a lot. Um, it's hard for an actor, so, yeah. I suppose, as well, having that because acting is so intermittent and difficult and all those things. So there'll be periods of time where you just hate yourself and then other times that you're like, thank God. And then other times that you're like yeah. mad at yourself again. Even in success, I think, I think often it can be really hard where people think you are at, you're doing really well. Mm -hmm. And then, and then actually you're feeling quite bad about yourself. Oh, for sure. And, and there, I think that, I'll have a year where some things that I've been working on, because you can't really, the games especially take so long to come out. So things will come out in succession and people will be like, oh my God, you're killing it. But that's because I worked on them a while ago and or yeah. whatever. And then the current the current year will be like quite quiet, but all the games are coming out. So everyone thinks that the success is now. So it's like, yeah. it's so staggered. I think acting success is so staggered and not really relatable to the current time. It's like a, yeah. your career is, is so spread out into different yeah. like, years and moments. And then it's like, you must have not stopped working. It's like, well, actually, I did these over a period of time. Yes. Now they're all out in one weekend. It happened. Exactly. I was in um, uh, a TV show called You on Netflix. And yes. I was also in um, a television show called You and Me on ITV. And um, that was like over a period of about four months, five months that I was working on them collectively. And um, yeah, they all came out in the same weekend. And I was like, oh, cool. The same Great. weekend? A, yeah. Same time. So it was like, okay, there you go. Um, I I also find, and I found with 16, I think, is I'm having a wonderful time. I'm, I, I think it's what a gift to be able to do it and celebrate it with fans. And and that is, it's the, um, an amazing thing to be a part of. But at the same time, I I did struggle. I, have, I did struggle with it because it, I went from it being very secret for then everyone having an opinion, mm. you know, everyone wanting to tag me and stuff and everyone mm. wanting my attention. And it was like, Ben over here, Ben over here, Ben over here. And I'm a people pleaser in many ways. I Same. want people to like me. Um, and, and I don't want to disappoint people. And so I did feel myself certainly with the first couple of weeks of the game coming out stretched a little bit too thin. Um, sure. And I never want to let anyone down. And I worked myself really, really, really hard. Um, and I lost a bit of myself, I think, for the first couple of weeks. I bet. Um, and um, I'm, f by the way, guys, I'm fine now. It's okay um, now, but everybody. Don't worry. I think it, it was such whiplash. It was, it was go from um, 
you can't talk about this game to talking about the game constantly and everyone wanting you to talk about the game and it was something such that a... probably felt very yours suddenly became everybody's overnight yeah which is so nice i i love that and i love that people have as they play more of the game already taken it into their hearts but i um it was a, it was a hard thing so even in success i was just so stressed mm. um by it one of my um, best friends and... plays one of the mermaids in little mermaid uh, yeah, and it was such a long time. Again, I think another four, probably four years of her life, um, working on that, and it being such a th- and then that when it came out, you have such a high, and all the premieres, and the world is watching it, and and then it just kind of then it's over, and then and then that that come down. I remember she was really like kind of like this is so strange, and it was painful almost, and and kind of difficult to navigate the the release of a big project like that that everyone that has such anticipation and so many years of your life put into yeah. it. And then it's released and then literally you just kind of keep going. And it's it's mm-hmm. a weird thing to, yeah, just wrap your head around. Um, Hi, I've Aaliyah. just seen in chat. Hello. Aaliyah, yeah, I was going to say. Hey. Yeah, you guys met, I think, in... We did. We met in did. LA. did. It's yeah. so funny because yeah. the corners of my life somehow all just link. It's so funny how that happens. Yeah. That LA trip was so magical. The because... gigantic Ifrit statue. Yeah. Let me show you guys yeah. if I find it. It was um, it was an amazing trip because I got to meet so many fans of the game, and I got to meet lots of you know streamers whose work that I really really love, and and community members who I think are, are really amazing. And um, it was it was this kind of whirlwind, romantic moment in LA where I was getting to just hang out with the people that I really really admire, and Alia is one of them. So hello. I'm going to put a link in uh, yeah. the chat now of the statue because this I just thought it was the coolest thing that they made. Like a full life-size Ifrit. I've been calling him Ifrit for ages, by the way, until I, until Clive was like, Ifrit? And I was like, oh, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, so was I. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> oh, good. Thank God. I I caught... So when I first played, it was um, Final Fantasy VIII. And you could name all of what they were called GFs in Final Fantasy VIII. And you could name every single one. And because I was had recently played Pokemon, I named all of the GFs after Pokemon. And uh, so Ifrit, I called Charizard. And oh, perfect. It, yeah. <laughs> so clever, Ben. Wow. 11 years old. Because nailing it. fire and fire. Yeah, there you go. Um... And uh, the other day, right. I went to Slay Station, um, which was a Final Fantasy drag event. And um, I wish I was there. I it got, looked so much fun. God, it was the most amazing thing. Um, and uh, I met a, a load of fans there, and it was really, really wonderful. And one of the fans gave me a Charizard Pokemon card. Was it a shiny? It was, yeah. It was a shiny one. Yep. Ah, uh, I yeah. remember. I remember trading. Um, all of my Pokemon cards for a shiny. Oh, what's the big kind of sea one? One is like a sea snake. <laughs> Does that make any sense? It's... What the Pokemon? Yeah. Is it um, Gy- Gyarados? Gyarados? Yeah, yep, that one. A sea snake is the only thing that I could relate to. For that, I, I yeah. s- swapped all of them for a shiny yeah. one of those, and then the next morning I regretted everything that I'd done and I cried oh, all day. I'm so sorry. Magic Harp was... turns into it. <laughs> Magic Harp, yes. Yeah. It's Magic you... Harp's final form. Do you know what I thought was the was the coolest thing when I discovered it? And now as a as a thirty five year old, I go, wasn't that cool, Ben? Was that Ekans is the snake? It's just snake backwards. Oh my god! And I and I thought and I learned that. You know, it's you know when you're really young, you're like, <laughs> I know something you don't. I'm so clever. Um, and actually, it's not that amazing. They just spelled I think it's snake amazing. backwards. I think it's very yeah. amazing. Um, did you play a lot of Pokemon Red and Blue when you were a kid? Mm. Are you part of that? All I did was Game Boy, and I don't remember which one. It was a Game Boy Color, and I played a bit of Pokemon on that, and that was yeah. that was when my po- my Pokemon journey ended. Yeah, well, I was pe- I was peak Pokemon. I grew up in a time where Red and Blue were it. Like, if you had a Game Boy, all you were doing was that was playing Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Um, the Pokemon cards, Pokemon games, watching the Pokemon anime. It was, your life was Pokemon. Um, and yeah. That, I love that you've the... been a, ga- like a gamer since forever. It makes me so, it makes me so happy because some, some people say, come into my chat and they go, oh, is it normal that uh, voice actors play video games? And I, I, I'm always like, actually not really. 
not really. And then when I do no. find, like when, when we started talking and I was like, oh my God, you're a gamer as well. And we like immediately started yeah. talking about games. Cause normally it's like, oh yeah, we were watching this game. And you know, most, a lot of voice actors have never even picked up a controller or they don't even know what PlayStation is, but they, cause they focus yeah. on the acting side of things. That's not, it's not their interest, but they work, you know, they still do their, give it everything, but it's not like a, a platform that they consume. So like with you, I was like, oh my God, we get to talk about this stuff because mm-hmm. it, it totally changes the experience of a game coming out when you've worked on it, because it's such a different feeling. Um, it's also mad because you and I work with a lot of the actors who are in the games that we love. So yes. that's a really strange so we're experience. Where, like, peop- yeah. yeah. Like, do you remember when I introduced you to Jane Perry? Oh, <laughs> we talk about her all the time in my stream. Yeah. We talk about, oh yeah. And people were like, well, if you're in Baldur's Gate, then that means you technically worked on the same project. And I was like, that's true. Yeah. That's she true. is incredible. <laughs> I'm going to say this now, and I want to make this happen. If anyone is any sort of dev in the in the chat, um, please cast Anna and Jane in the same game as either like mother and daughter or sisters oh or anything, God. because your impression of Diana Burnwood is brilliant, and I forced you to do it in front of Jane. <laughs> the video I have, the fact that I have a video on my phone of me being her and her being me, like, and then her, cor- even her correcting me, I was just so humbled. You know, she was like, it's actually, yeah. it's actually uh, this word. And I was like, of course, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, I once had to film Jane doing a cameo as Diana Burnwood for someone. She's got and a cameo like, account. Yeah. Oh my God. It's, it's so gut chat. If you want to give Anna something amazing, get a cameo from Jane. It's worth it. They're well, so I elaborate. feel like I have her mobile number now. So if I was like, yeah. could you record this now? She was just on WhatsApp. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but someone someone made her do like uh, for those who don't know. I mean, uh, you know, for those who don't know, Jane Perry is the voice of Celine in Returnal. She is also Diana Burnwood in Hitman, um, and among any other things. I think who does she play in Cyberpunk? She's a huge character in Cyberpunk. As oh, well. the oh my God. Rogue. Maybe. Rogue? Um, she is a BAFTA winner and is a great human being as well. Incre- like stupidly talented, um, and uh, we. Well, we were at a party and she was like, I need to do this cameo. And someone had given this cameo to her, which was the briefing that Diana Burnwood would do for Agent 47. And it was, someone had written out an entire briefing for this person at like the local county fair. Your mission, should you choose to accept it at the local county fair, is to infiltrate the other county fair and do this. And they made Jane do the entire thing. And we filmed it like a briefing. And um, we had like Julia Hardy dead on a pool table whilst she was doing it. It was it was it was like a movie. That person got a good deal that day. Yeah, that person got a good yeah. deal that day. Her voice yeah. is just incredible. Honestly, I was trying to. It's funny when you work in the same industry as someone. It's strange feeling so far below them because you're, you're technically not. But when I met her, I was just so like I was like you have you have been the voice of so many games and characters that I really really. It's such a weird thing because. As a voice actor, you don't think about it when you're when you're working on something. But when, as a consumer of games, you feel so differently about voice actors than when you are one. When you're doing, do, do you know what I'm saying? Like the two halves of yourself, the player and the actor. But yeah. like just they they carry so much weight that, that a voice can be the difference between like just loving a character and not loving a character. And just when I met her, I was just like, you are the voice of like so much of my nostalgia for yeah. so many things. And you know, she's just like, oh, thanks. But I'm like, no, seriously. <laughs> yeah the way that you probably get dms every single second but um what me yeah you and all your dms i do i do get a lot of people messaging me which is wonderful um and very strange because i just i am still suffering from a sense of imposter syndrome Mm. um i don't feel like i deserve it because oh (laughs) that isn't me asking for compliments um it's it's a it's a it's a wonderful thing that people want to message me and that clive is affecting them um, and the journey that he goes on is certainly an emotional one. And I think it resonates with a lot of people, which is great. But I find that to be super weird because I feel unworthy of it. And yet at the same time, I understand the need to do it because I'm that because person. Because you are also the player. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I recognize it. And so I never go, that's weird. And like, I would do the same thing because um, I have <laughs> um, to, to people whose performances that I absolutely admire. And I, I remember just cornering Doug Cockle once. And being like, Doug. no, I, d-. yeah, just like Doug, who plays Geralt of Rivia, yeah. just being like, you are, you had such an impact, Gerald, um, get, get out, get out. I mean, the think about how, let's be honest, he's he's gone, he's he's not doing it now, but 
Henry Cavill copied Doug Cockle, copied Doug Cockle's performance. He could have even said it, that it was inspired by Doug Cockle, but that is a guy who has inspired a generation, has inspired a very particular style of voice for mm. Henry Cavill and stuff. And I think it's, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, He's a uh, trendsetter. Trendsetter. I mean, lots, lots of people are. I just think about voice acting in general. Metal Gear Solid 1 is, for the time insane the voice acting we were talking is... about metal gear today it's so funny you're literally in my brain we've been talking about aries we've been talking about metal gear i was saying that i've never played a metal gear and i want to play the whole thing on stream at some point from start to finish but i was saying that... start at one start at one reckon start at metal gear solid yeah okay metal gear solid metal gear solid one metal gear solid two metal gear solid Will three it visually and like technically hold up playing today yes it does okay it does it is that good okay. um you'll be annoyed by the camera a little bit but that's all part of it okay um it's got it's got some quirks but it's not a long game metal gear solid isn't a long game at all okay um Love and a lot of fun and you it's just so for the time it was revolutionary and i think a lot of people still aren't doing the stuff that it did back then um yeah, yeah. i will say it does hold it does hold up it's cool okay good um play it as a stealth game it's not that's what it is if you play it as a stealth game it holds up it's not an play action game stealth i'm, I'm sure the chat are very excited about that me and me and stealth yeah. <laughs> Ah, they're already laughing at me. Um, Ewan, thank you for Prime. Six months, you have a new bad. Ewan, thank you so much. I'm sorry, that happened six minutes ago and I was deep in conversation and I missed it, but thank you so much for that. Let's take a moment to thank Ewan. Ewan, um, big up to you, Ewan. Immortal Blitz 420. Thank you for the follow as well. <laughs> Immortal. Hey, Mars. We have a very, look at very, the squad. very, everyone's here. Very big famous YouTuber friend of mine in my chat. And, um, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, I'm gonna put my best clothes on. Put your best clothes um, on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was be like, should I describe what I'm wearing? Um, I'm um, wearing some wow. very comfortable jogging bottoms <laughs> um, and some multicolored socks. You, have you guys ever had happy socks? Are they tucked into the joggers? No, but do you want me to? Yes. Listen to that. That's also a are. hack, by oh. the way. If you're in winter or you're in like a cold place and the heating's the house is either too big for heating or whatever the reason is, you're saving saving money and don't want to heat the it just tuck whatever pants or tr jeans, joggers, whatever, into the yeah. socks. Incredibly warm. Incredibly warm. I, I do have a question for you. Oh. Um as a professional performer, do you take your shoes off when you are recording? As in right now when I'm streaming? No, when you're when you're um, in tape? the booth or you're doing something oh, like that, do you take no. your shoes off? No, my shoes stay on. Do Interesting. You, oh, do you feel you like? I want to feel grounded with the floor. Some no, no. Sometimes I would. Sometimes I wouldn't. Like um, I would be in there for a long time. I would be in there for the entire day. So I, you know, I'd set up camp in the morning and think, right, lads, we're doing this. Um, you would do eight-hour you know, sessions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big, my voice big, big gets so tired. I don't know how you did it. Um, I, my voice tires out after about four or five, I think. And then the last three, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> hello. Um, no, I, I was, um, I had to for, for time reasons. Yes. Um, and yeah, so I would, I would sometimes take my shoes off just to kind of feel the floor a little bit and just <laughs> change things up. Because when you're in the same room for a long time, you feel like you're going mad. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I, I would take my your, dog in. On your I've Twitter, said... you used to have your dog in the room sometimes with you as well. Like... I did, yeah. I did have Milton in loads. Was Milton um, quiet enough for you to record, or would he sometimes? Such a quiet ruin boy. The... He's such a small. He's a small, small boy. Did he ever um, ruin the take? Be honest. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yes, he did. Um, <laughs> yes, not by barking. Not oh. by barking though. By um, yawning, sneezing, surpri surprising me. By he's so small, um, and he he put his little paws on the side of my f my leg to because he wanted to be picked up. Um, and so he would, I would just feel these tiny paws like going up my shin. Um, and I'd look down and there was this little boy looking up at me. So, oh my God. um, yeah, I'd have to grab him. Oh my God. Um, there also, he did disturb it one time because he, um, he found his ball and was just butting it around the room and oh. I was doing a very emotional scene and he just found this tiny little tennis ball that he was just butting around the room. And I'm so sorry. Oh and, God. um, I had to go and get the ball. Yeah. I wish I could bring my cat into the recording room. It just feels it. it's, it's not really necessary because dogs need constant like to to be not left alone for for hours. Cats don't. Cats just kind of enjoy. They, in fact, when you leave, cats are like, "Thank God." Yeah, they are. I'm like, but bye. She's like, "Yeah, okay, them. fuck off." I'm like, oh, 
You know? Yeah, you're a huge inconvenience to them. Yeah. Um, can I ask you, what's your favourite part of the game so far? Um, as in, like, do you mean like element to it or like a specific moment? Narratively, what's been your favourite moment? You Don't know, know what? I played it. <laughs> <laughs> what game am I playing? Um, okay, so I think the opening was incredible. I think that yeah. for me, the opening was my favourite part until the stuff with Dion. And I actually was so shocked. That completely shocked me. Do, um, uh, do, I was, yeah. my jaw was on the floor. I just wasn't expecting yes. it. So the whole sequence with uh, the cutscenes before the Bahamut fight and mm -hmm. then Bahamut and um, then the mother and the emperor and Ultima. Oh my God. I was just like, oh my God. So that, yeah, I think that probably is my, my favorite in terms, in terms of just like shock factor and like juice. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh. It's such a juicy, like, hour section of the yes, game, isn't it? so poignant. And up until that so point, it hadn't drama. been, it hadn't had too much was going on. And then suddenly it just hit all at once. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. Annabella, Clive getting angry. Totally. There it is. This, this, this. Yeah, Ultima shape-shifting into Barnabas's mother when he's in the lab. Yeah, that sexy was... time. I remember seeing that and thinking, oh, that's, that's a bit M-rated. Freudian um, vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I liked I did I did like that part of the game yeah. um, and the D and also um, give a shout out to Stuart Clark who plays Dion absolutely Stuart. brilliant in that scene absolutely um, also if you want a great person to follow on Twitter Stuart Clark like a lot of um, the Final Fantasy 16 voice actors very unhinged um, unhinged so, social media content coming up yeah Stuart ready Clark, to just do stuff Stuart Clark yeah off I run he plays he plays Dion and also Javert in the West End of Les Mis. Oh, like currently? Currently, yeah. Okay, I've clicked on the wrong Stuart Clark. Stuart with an S T E W A R T. Yeah. Like, does the Clark have an E on the end or not? It does, yeah. Oh, how strange. I've, I've gone, I've accidentally clicked the creator director at Edinburgh TV Fest. Okay. Oh, I see someone with a, a microphone on the profile picture. Maybe it's that person. There Maybe we go. Found him. <laughs> Found him. Follow. Wow. What? What an accolade. Yeah. There he is. Oh, he's got great cheekbones. He does. Good face. Very good. Just a very, just a very nice man in general, both to look at and to Lovely. talk to. Would Lovely. recommend a conversation with Stuart Clark if you ever meet him. Okay. I mean, I've, I've, yeah. I've been waiting for Taya to follow me back on Twitter for at least a week. Well, I Michelle. Mean, I've been crying and rocking back and forth every morning because of it, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Um, do you, am I stopping you from playing this video game or is this? No, I, well, I just got to a bit where suddenly Blackthorn's talking and I thought, okay, I should pause oh, because I don't Blackthorn. want Blackthorn. Do you want to get the reward <laughs> from Blackthorn so we can find out what the hell he's talking about? Okay, should we find out? Okay, hold on. Let me put the volume back up again. Blackthorn, what's the issue? Oh, so the, we've gotten to the third side mission with Blackthorn where he's trying to hone his craft and we are trying to, he's trying to learn how to engrave from his like enemy. Yeah. That's the one. What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. Another All good right. voice. Yeah, really good voice. Just really nice voice. Don't go starting anything with the chief. Yeah, I'll promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? God, I wouldn't want to be against Blackthorn in a fight. Imagine like Blackthorn drunk in a bar. On, he then. would just be like, nope, not bothering. Yeah, much yeah, obliged. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. I would not dare. Jules to Jules, not... thank you for Prime. Enjoy the emojis. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome I'm in. thrilled for the Prime sub. Thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. You don't have to tell me your oh. username, but I'm just intrigued. Do you have a Twitch account? Do I? So this is yeah. Travoshed. Yes, I do, but I, I just use it to watch there? people. You, you, you won't get any interesting time. comment from me. Oh. Um, I'm as I am on comment content. Um, I use it just to watch people who I really think are really cool. Um, uh, the underscore Ben underscore Star, which I am at on most socials. So there you well, go. Have you ever streamed from it before in your life? You speak to nope. Sultan. 
You're gonna have all these random followers for whenever you feel like it one day. Jesper with another 10 gifted subs. Jesper, are you high? Jesper, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I... Uh, I'm thinking of streaming Final Fantasy 14, so we'll find that. Ooh. That'll happen. Oh. You heard it here first. We got an exclusive chat. Yeah. We got an exclusive. Um, so I'll probably end up doing that, and I'll make a character. Um, I'm thinking of doing it with Susie the Sphere Hunter. We thought we might do it together. Is she a creator of the of the game? No, she's just a very good friend, a wonderful streamer, and wonderful YouTuber. Wonderful YouTuber. Does a lot of um please please watch susie's work an amazing resident evil horror fan also oh um, loads of people know who she is fan. yes susie is susie's just ama just an amazing person and do i do i know who she is guys have i seen West? should i know or have i known already what's her name susie the sphere hunter susie the sphere hunter i think raj is going to get the link up I ca why are songs so expensive in this game ben I don't know. I didn't buy a single one. It's outrageous. I just listened to them on the soundtrack that you can buy for like 39 quid. Certainly. Just get that. <laughs> just... <laughs> Done. There you go. Done. I've also not used a single elixir because I just think 10k is just a bit... I don't know. Yeah. Do you, are you selling your stuff? Are you going to Karen? Are you selling all the bits that you can sell? I should sell, shouldn't I? I try... You haven't done that, have you? I've sold... Okay, I should sell this right now. Sell that. Anything else you don't want? Don't need my diamond armlets. Thanks. I haven't sold much of my uh, accessories because Maybe I'm scared to... in case I need them again. Kept them. Yeah. Toggle. I think. I think if you go to your materials there, and then I think you can just like sell. Doesn't matter. You're not going to. <laughs> Isn't there anything we can do? To help? You know. You think you know me? <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Tell um, me it's not true. How many more side quests do you do before you have to get on with the story? Um, I just wanted to do the ones that were both plus. So I have... Yeah, plus plus. Yes, I have... Please, sir, can I have some marble? And then the blacksmith blues. And then I'm going to carry on with the Song of Hope. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to keep you as well. Are you, you're doing things. Yeah, I've got to um, eat some food. Yeah. Um, no, I'm doing. I'm actually doing an interview later, which I'm Ooh. very excited about. Um, I can't talk about it, but I'm very lucky to get to do it. I feel very honoured that I get to talk to this person. So that's very fun. It's um, Graham Norton, isn't it? Graham Norton's coming to my house. Yeah. <laughs> Gra it's Graham it's, um, Norton. It's a, it's a round table with me, Graham Norton, uh, Claudia <laughs> Winkleman, um, <laughs> Alan Carr. Test Alan Carr's gonna be there. I love Alan yeah. Carr so much. Yeah. Have you watched the bit where him and um, Amanda Holden? This is not content for the internet, um, but I will just say it. Where him, he and Amanda Holden go and like buy one of those houses and try and do them up in like Italy. Um, Have you seen that? I thought it, I didn't realize it was Amanda Holden. I thought it was just him. He'd, I know I've seen a show where he does like yeah. home renovations. Yeah. No. This is this is him like buying one of those houses that you can buy for like one euro, and then you get like a year to do them up, oh. and then you. Yeah. Anyway, this isn't content for the internet. No one cares about this. Everyone wants to know about video games. I think not Amanda Holden, everyone Alan will Carr. care about anything that you say. So. Okay. Favorite food. Yes, go. Sweet. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Last question before I let you go. Then, what mm -hmm. if you could have one meal uh, forever, okay, <sighs> one savory meal and one dessert and one drink mm -hmm. for the rest of your life? You can never change it, and it will not make you gain weight or be unhealthy in any way. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you for asking. Um, my dessert will always be like a chocolate fondant, melting middle chocolate pudding. Oh, the little, thing. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Always. So like, you know, yeah. when people go, oh, like the goo one, right? Oh. That, that. But not necessarily the goo one, but a really good version of that. The one that's like a, it's the, the shape of like a bucket upside down. Yeah. Mm. Um, the drink would be an Aperol spritz. What? Um, I could drink an Aperol spritz forever. I'm shocked. Um, why? I don't know. I just think they're they are gross. Disgusting. <laughs> really? I was like, which one do okay. I use? Maybe it's because I've been having yeah. bad ones. I've heard that, that, that when they get made badly or made wrong, they don't taste as nice. So maybe it's just that I've had one made badly. For me. I could make you such a nice Aperol okay, spritz. Okay, good. I'll make sure I'll reserve a judgment until you make me one then. Yeah, and then even if you don't like them, like, they're not for everyone. But for me, they're, they're nice. I like I like it. Well, they're my favorite color um, after all. Yeah. Um, what did I say? Cyan. Um, Orange, obviously. 
Um, I know the colour of an Aperol spritz. Don't try and trick me. Don't trick. Don't trick me. I won't be tricked again. Absinthe. Um, do you like <laughs> is yours absinthe? I've never tried absinthe in my life. Yeah. Yours is a WKD. WKD? Uh... <laughs> I, so, it sounds so stupid. I absolutely love schlur and I could drink schlur yeah. forever. It's so underrated. Like sparkling grape juice is so nice. It is so <laughs> nice. Whenever there's schlur, I'm always like, oh, it's meant to be like the non alcohol alternative. But even if I felt like drinking that day, I would be like, schlur every time. Every time, give me the schlur. Anyway, savory meal? Yeah. Um, savory meal. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. Um, savory meal. Maybe a steak. Mm -hmm. No. No, a burger. Oh, a burger. Okay. A hundred percent a burger. I'm right sorry things. I'm boring. I'm sorry no. that I'm boring. How would you have um, your steak if it is a steak? Medi uh, rare? Uh, m either rare or medium rare. Okay. Rare or medium rare is fine. Okay. Um, because uh, really that is up to the chef to decide. I would always go as the chef wants, really. Um, because sometimes oh. they prefer this. What if the chef was I like, mean... <laughs> well done, super well done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the chef prefers this to no longer be meat and just be carbon. Um, <laughs> However, the chef has it. Well, he just has a portobello mushroom grilled, so I'll just yes. give you that. <laughs> <laughs> he has a blowtorch and no sense of time. So he will just be... <laughs> <laughs> that would be like one of the worst. Go, what, if you... Mushroom just starts going like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. yeah. What sense could you not do without? Sight, touch, no. No sense of time. Oh, um, that's a good one. That's true. I wouldn't even think about it. It's like a plot. It's like a yeah. loophole. It would be a loophole, yeah. It'd be like one of those like tricky things that happens in a, you know, at the end of a at the end of a superhero thing where mm. you go you had your senses but you actually didn't realize the most important sense a sense of time sense and then you'll learn the time. lesson and you're thinking, i remember that wasn't part of the rules being <laughs> young and i was walking down the street with my dad and he didn't have the time and he went up to us he just uh there was a guy walking the opposite way and he just said excuse me sorry do you have the time and the guy said to him yeah i do and walked past him i just I will never yeah. forget that it was hilarious because he technically uh, didn't do anything wrong he asked him a question he answered the question yeah, I, as a teenager, learned a lot of very annoying things that I thought were quite sassy. One of them was, um, uh, what time is it? And then I go, time to get a watch. <laughs> and, then... <laughs> and you were like, <sighs> yeah, I was like, well, I was just like, I'm really cool. I just thought I was the coolest person. So just iconic. walk away, you know, time to get a watch and then walk away. Um, then I would obviously feel very bad, walk back to them, give them the time and apologize and my hands yeah. are amazing. I'm so sorry. I was trying to be sassy. Yeah. 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 I can imagine that you, uh, the apologeticness in you is, is very endearing. I am so apologetic. Mm. Um, I'm also the person that when I get drunk, I am really nice. I'm like your hype guy. I will tell you everything that's nice about you and how you should seize the day, be your best self. I'm I that, feel like a butt is coming, kind of like, person. but when I'm sober, <laughs> like, to <laughs> contrast that. <laughs> yeah. When I'm sober, I'm a bitter, wizened old man. Wizened. <laughs> a wizened old man. Leather, leathered and hardened. <laughs> leathered. Um, Blackthorn? Blackthorn. Blackthorn. Yeah. It has been so nice talking to you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your... I, I know, because especially because I know how many interviews, especially, literally because you've got one today, how many times you're going to be talking about this in such depth. So just like, it's been so nice to... Have the thank privilege, you for, thank I'm you sure for letting me talk to you. Such a, um, an honor to have you on stream, just narrating the playthrough as we go. Yeah, an honor. I love it. Um, yeah, and then when I, we actually have an actual moment, we've got a proper Q and A, and we can actually like. Yeah, I can I'm cherry really pick questions to that you may not have been and asked. Answering proper questions and getting into it. Yeah, um, and I can force but, you to drink bubble tea. Yeah, I'll force you to drink aperol spritz. Oh, and, deal. Uh, We'll do that. Actually, I'll I, yeah, I'll just get spritz. the stuff that you want me to get for the Aperol Spritz, and then you can make we, you can make them for me on stream, and I'll make sure that I enjoy it. Great. I'm, I'll bring some stuff as well. I'm not going to force you to buy a bottle of Aperol no, if you don't, don't like see. it. No, You're coming onto my stream as the lead in a very big game. You're doing my stream in honor. Of course, I can get a bottle of Aperol. <laughs> Should get it sponsored by Aperol. We've re they've really got a lot of air. Sponsored by Aperol. Um, yeah, get some Aperol. I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll email them. I'll email them. Yeah, I can. I can imagine the Kotaku article tomorrow. Drunk stream, let's go. Yeah, drunk stream sponsored by Aperol goes awry. Oh. Um, Everyone is thanking you for your work and for your time. 
Oh, thank you. And please enjoy the rest of the stream. And um, thank you, everyone, for being oh, so wonderfully you, supportive. Enjoy and your, your watch. interview tonight. I look forward to what, finding out whoever or whatever it's for. Yeah. And keep watching Anna. She's great. Um, big fan. Um, would watch again. Um, seven out of ten would watch again. Seven out of ten. No, no. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten is failure. Uh, eight out of ten is the... Uh, is... <laughs> because Final Fantasy VIII is your favourite. For uh, luck. Yeah, no. Can I just say before I go? Mm. No, actually, I don't need to say this. This is just not content for online. Uh, you know when a thought comes into your head and I think, I thought I think I'm going to say that. It's intrusive and we want to know now. Not for now. Not for now. Oh, great. Um, please enjoy the rest of the stream, everyone. Thank you so much. And um, yeah. Thank I you, Ben. Have a lovely all. evening. We love you. Yay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was lovely. We had free Clive time. Sorry, I know that I know it mean it meant that I couldn't really play properly for the last what forty five minutes. I don't even know how long that was. It time flew, but thank you. Sorry, thank you for that. I think it'd be just it'd be nice to have that as a memory forever. You know, I've never had the lead of a game just on the phone whilst I'm playing it before in my life. So that'd be that was just really nice to have. He's so sweet, isn't he? He you can also you get a sense of how much he cares as well about gaming in general but also the work that he does as well so it's really really nice to like yeah he's just a good person he's just a good person and he's very generous with his time i think um he's more generous with his time than i've seen anybody especially when someone is so busy um so yeah um, and the fact that he's even going to come around and do an, a q a as well is so so nice of him could hear the passion in his voice for everything absolutely frosty sorry i meant to say hello to you i saw you pop in at the beginning i didn't want to interrupt him but if anyone popped into the chat whilst that was happening, welcome for the first time. Spazzy, applause, applause, applause. Um, thank you so much for any follow that I missed. Go Yanks, thank you for gifting a sub to the Ben Star. Now at least he can use the emotes. That's good. <laughs> yeah, we had a, we had a celeb on, on uh, the stream. Uh, the first time I actually met Ben was at the rap party because I was, I was sat next to him without knowing for ages and someone was like, this is Clive. And I was like, oh, that's Clive. Because <laughs> it's so funny, you just don't know what anyone looks like. I probably, I probably had all of the voice actors sat on the same table as me, but because I'd never played it, I didn't know. I didn't know the other names or anything. I can't believe I was at the party with Talia and didn't realise. Wow. Butter. Hotter, damn it. Wow. Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. Whoa. It's a pleasure to meet you. That voice, though. I'll bet it is. That'd be me. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Do you think that you Blackthorn's here. and those little shoulders what versus me say? and my sword is even a contest? He's travelled a long way to see you. <sighs> Please. Yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest... You take him with you when you leave. Did someone hear that eagle? You apprentice together. Did you hear an eagle? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere. Hot-blooded black. These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless. We're never going to be able to fire up the forges. Just, just get a lighter. Crystals. Get a piece of paper. I'm chuck it in. As you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. I think we should punch him. He's not wanted here. He's got a punchable face. And neither are you. All right. I'm going. Why is there a massive eagle circling this conversation? Please, <laughs> the Chief, you've got to do something. Um, okay. Zoltan is an asshole. We, I understand now why Blackthorn doesn't like uh -huh. him. Why hasn't happened? Boombamon, thank you for the follow. Assassin's Creed key. crossover. Zoltan. Zoltan is a character in that. Is that why? Is that why you said that? Anyway, uh, yeah, he's an asshole. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. Yeah, he did. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. Look at that baby chocobo in the background. Talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? 
I left. Dravoged. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. Love of the craft. Who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Power? Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. Money? The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. Money. There wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. Mm. You would have torn Dravoj in half had it gone on. So, I left. Why are the chocobo noises so loud in the background? Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. I just hear them pattering about this in the... His kept food on people's tables. In the hay. Dravoj prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out anyway. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. So what do we do? It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. Oh, boom, boom, we boom, manage it in the serve. Deadlands. Welcome. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. Hey, Stunner. He hey, saw Bruce. This coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. Bruce? He spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. That's true. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Fair enough. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So. Every time I hear this song, I just know the drums are happening. The, world. the way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. I don't know and why you'd be it's throwing so it away. All right. <laughs> Do it. This place was your home. <laughs> two drums. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. It's a serious side Let mission. This be another step on You're the road me to laugh. freeing Valisthea from the prison of the crystal's blessing. I wonder if they'll make Ravosht up. Ravosht will show the world that it's possible. Maybe they'll become friends. Wouldn't you agree, August? Allies. When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Can't be. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right then. Got all the strength right here. Okay. Oh, oh no. And I've got a job for you too, Clive. Yes. Finding me some salamander skin. Why? I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Oh. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Of course they do. Time for a spot of hunting, man. Of course they do. Right. So we go kill a snake. We're not snake. A salamander is not. I thought a salamander was snake related. Am I talking nonsense? Speaking of snake, hey snake in chat. Lizard. Salamander is a lizard? Okay, I was along the same lines with a reptile. Wait, are they not reptiles? Help. Amphip. Help! I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I didn't study zoology, okay? Anna, please. Anna, stop talking. <laughs> Hi, KK. Just want to thank you and your followers for gifting subs because I keep receiving subs from time to time. Though I watched a few of your streams and last time I was here five months ago when I was trying to learn more about Star Citizen, your followers' kindness surpasses the definition of kindness itself. KK, that is so lovely. I, I do believe I have one of the most generous and loving communities that I've ever seen and I'm so glad that you occasionally get random subs and... You're so welcome, when, whether you're here on a regular basis or not regular basis, you're welcome anytime. Peach, thank you for gifting a sub to Stunner. Peach, the best peach in the bowl. Thank you so much, Peach. That NPC you just passed with the kid was you. Again? Cotillon, why do I keep missing myself as a mother? Okay, okay, I'll kill the... Lizard. Now, they are reptiles. I was right saying reptiles? 
Why is everyone making me feel bad then? Why is there a level three panther in here? Okay. Big chunk. No, I'm going to avoid that. No. No, no, no. And then what's this? Elephant? A, a bison. I don't know. Is this a short one? No big. Oh, I kind of. I still want to be able to see everything. Oh my god! What is that? Guys, what is that? Have I seen that before? Is that like a lizard? Is that this looks like a lion crossed with? Ew! Have I seen that before? A frog. Hey, Vincent. You completed it yesterday. I'm so excited to to find out what happens. Ugh. We've gotten sidetracked today with with both side missions and with Ben. But I'm so ready for the main story. Okay, let's do the let's get these two done and then at least get back onto the main mission track. That kills people. I bet it does. I bet it does. You Jimbo. Let's make this quick, shall we? Desert Salamander. Hey baby. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, we dodged, we dodged, we dodged. Tornado. Because why not? In the middle of the tornado, we will also limit break. Cropper, the fighting is very intense. I think the intensity comes from all of the abilities because if you just like with your sword, you just kind of go chink, chink, chink. But then the second you do all the abilities at once, then it becomes. I dare say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. I dare say, Ben, it would. I dare say. Can I fast travel back because I'm lazy? I can. Just saving the old knees. More red screens and numbers. <laughs> Peach, any more judgment from you? All right. One more word. One more word from you. Blackthorn, I've What's got your skin for you. Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Yep. Very, very difficult. Nothing I couldn't handle. Very stressful. Here you go. What you gonna do about it, huh? Taunting <laughs> will also not be tolerated. Be plenty. Right then. Time to put these louts to work. Louts. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Left. 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 Right. Left. Sometime later. Vague. Well, I'll be damned. Same. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right. And without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Travage is saved. Still be. Sorry about earlier. You should be. You were an asshole. You calm down now? Had a chamomile tea? I, uh... I take back everything I said. Had a chamomile? That thing you've built us is... an honest to God's marvel. I know, because I'm very skilled. You've saved our village. I know I have. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Ah... Uh... Give this to him, would you? Can you imagine if he was like, What is it? Give this to him, would you? Pet coal cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our. Um. Czar? 
Zarcasm. Thank you for 20 gifted subs. What on earth? Chimomale. Thank you so much. Where did that come from? Thank you so much for those. Oh, thank you so much. That is so many. If anyone got any of those 20, please thank Sarah and enjoy them. Oh my God, thank you so much. That is so many subs. Thank you very much for 20 gifted. You're the best. The best. Thank you so much. Gorgeous. Whoa. That there was my answer. Cheeky drop. Chuck it in the fire and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Why is Barry White here? Only fair. Hey, baby. I've always envied Blackthorn. Tell him that because you're... Since the day I became chief... You should become friends. I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. Thank you, sir. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. I swear between like Is it any wonder I hate enemies his guts? or people that don't like each other. More coming from you. Especially professionally. It's I often need to like him first. jealousy or and mutual respect. Happen. There somehow, and it kind of gets all twisted up. Well, you know what they say? Or if land weren't built in a day and all that. Do they say that? These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. Done. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Won't it? Won't it just? Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Nothing else to do here. Off we go. Um, this has also got... Oh, wait, where's the plus? All the pluses are now back here. Perfect. Perfect. This game is so violent. <laughs> Can we add that as a quote? Come from Barb. Raj, if you're free. Can we add that? But what Barb just said as a quote, that is cracking me up. This game is so violently British. And that's coming from a Brit. I, I couldn't agree with you more. It's violently British. Can we can we add in the in the quote that it's about Final Fantasy 16 for context? That is so funny. Right, Blackthorn. So funny that you got here because I have a fast travel button and you don't. So I don't really know how that worked. But anyway, nice to see that you got back here so quickly. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. In less than 30 yeah, seconds. Yeah. Well. We didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Oh. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I'd nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Right. So I'm guessing we give this over, and now he can make our weapons better again. Remember the cube? Oh yeah, the cube! As in like the TV show where you do stuff in the cube? You're honoured, Barbo is a good quote. Aw, oh, Charles, thank you for listening to that. That's really sad. that's really kind of you. Violence is good. Oh my god, MCR. What? <laughs> MCR woke up and chose literally violence. Violence is good. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? Fade down. Story time is happening. Fade up. And you're sure he wanted me to have it? Yes. I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Yes, please don't. Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes. We love you. But I'm grateful all the same. We love you. Now, where was I? 
Oh yeah. I do love you're you're right, Nick. I love that this I ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Oh wait, hang on. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still. Still. It's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. Ooh. Oh, Charles, you got a sub from Liz. Liz, thank you for that. Liz, you are lurking in the shadows, ready to sprout goodness at any random moment. A diagram detailing the steps to craft a belt to end all belts. So we get a special belt. It better look good. Special belt. Special belt. Ouroboros. Ouroboros. I do like that the... Like, there's so many uh, parts in games where you've got someone for... You've got the shops, the forgery, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that you... You get a bit of his backstory, how passionate he is about doing that. How he recognises that the things that he makes for you are what make you go out and are able to achieve the missions and his, like... He feels the weight of that pressure. You never have that in a game because you just they just go, here you go, here's a sword. So you get to hear a bit of emotion from the forgery person in this, which is nice. Okay, belt to end all belts. Yep. What's saying for you, dear? A belt to end all belts. Do I have to... Oh, there we go. I don't have any of the stuff for it. Brilliant. Don't waste my time. You ain't got the stuff. <gasps> all right, just having a look. So I need a stone tongue and a comet feather. And an... That word. Whatever word that is. Spazzy, have you played DMC before? Have you played all of them? Or just one of them? Teamwork, Sarah. Teamwork. Bruce, have you, have you ever forged something before? Um, okay, so at least Anything else? in order to do that, I still have to go do the hunts. And then the other one is back there, up. I'm sorry, no, down. Ooh. Oh, this is the one that we killed the carrot for. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It was a very dangerous carrot. See you soon, AJ. Peach, thank you for gifting us up to Frosty. Frosty, you're one of us now as well, courtesy of Peach. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peach. Uh, Sid, I... Uh... Can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. It is? <laughs> because of the tendril in the bag? Don't make it weird. Is that a tendril in your satchel or are you just happy to see me? Here. Yeah. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards? I didn't say I it. I suspect the results will be immediate. I didn't say it, he did. I shall begin at once. It's a hot profession. Spurious. It's a hot profession. Sometime later, again, very vague. Ooh, butterflies. Pretty. Is this the hideaway theme, this piece? Or does this belong to a character? It's just as I hoped. Witness how the Morgan Beards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. Oh, the flowers are I'm glad I could nice. be of assistance. It's thriving. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards. And would you believe? Its potency has nearly doubled. For potions? You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Taya who? I don't know who she is. What'd I get? Necessary for further increasing consumable potency. 
But what? What do you mean? It's just for my memory room? It's not even a thing? You heal more? Okay. Okay, so it's not just my memory room. <laughs> Lyra. Liz, thank you for gifting another sub as well. Oh my gosh, thank you. Bilek, welcome in. My catchphrase is don't make it weird. We have an emote called don't make it weird. And I have a t-shirt that says don't make it weird as well. <laughs> Your what? Your rum? Why? <laughs> why can non-English people, or not, okay, non-Southern English people not understand why I, can't, I say rum? Rum, 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 in the room, walk into the room. Room? Should I have to, should I go, should I extend the room so that you guys are happy? For God's sake. <laughs> it's like how Marzi says egg. She goes egg. She says egg. Like cra cracking, an, cracking an egg. <laughs> I don't know whether that's just because of the part of America that she's from, but when she says egg, it gets me. Okay, necessary for further increasing consumable potency. So in general, consumables are now a bit stronger. Across the board? Or just across health? I'll take it. Whatever it is, it's... Any consumable. Extend the room. Demolition ta- oh, You have obtained- Oh, I, I could have just been patient maybe and waited for the game to tell me what was going on. Um, You have obtained a- f can the game just ease up on the drums? Because every time I hear the drums, I just will start laughing because I know that in the chat there's going to be drums. You've obtained a vile file of invigorated Morgan Beard extract, further increasing the potency of most consumables. Potions, high potions, the stone skin, the strength, and the tonics. Perfect. <laughs> Maybe... Caster's pronunciations crack me up. What was the word that Caster says that I find funny? Everything? Um, I wonder if Raj we could have. Could we have a command that's like exclamation mark drums, and then it's loads of the loads of people drumming. Toss, oh my gosh, that was a thing. I had to, I had to very uncomfortably describe to my American friend that in the UK, tossing off or tossing in general doesn't mean the same thing as it does in the US. Um, because things just kept being said that I couldn't, I couldn't listen to any further. I just couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Okay, so we've got side mission there. How many? Just the one. Side mission there, four of them. Tears of Mercy. Um, looks like I've just got to kill one thing. Let me kill the one thing, and then we'll head over here. Toss. Toss, yes. What does it mean? I don't know, never dies. Maybe you're just gonna have to Google something. Um, Sa, I'm still not over your 20 gifted. Thank you so freaking much for that. So kind of you. Okay, we can fast- Oh, we can't even fast travel. We just gotta go down an unmarked path! Toggle. Calm down, relax. Relax, Toggle. Toggle, you're sounding well stressed. What's wrong with your respiratory system? You okay? My wounds, boy. Okay, this way is a dead end. No? Yes? Where on earth am I? Is this normal? Hey. MC, what is happening today? MCR, thank you for 25 gifted. 25. MCR, thank you so much. I love that MCR literally a few minutes ago was like, violence, good, yes. And then MCR is also like, here's 25 gifted subs. My sausage boy, hi June. <laughs> The drums. Yes, perfect. There we go. Oh my god, why is that the sad Pepe? The Pepe looks so sad in that one. We should make it a happy Pepe. Um, thank you so much, MCR, for 25 gifted subs. If anyone got one of those 25, MCR is a wonderful person in the community that is super generous. Please thank that person and enjoy the vibes, the emojis, the community. 
okay, I think I'm going the wrong way, but I'm kind of intrigued as to what's down in this, in this basement. Bruce, that Pepe looks so sus. Should I be down here? Oh, I've already been here. It just feels weird because of the ether flood. Oh, she told... I remember she said to me... Do you remember before there was a woman here? This is before the whole, like, uh, invasion of this area. And she said, you want to go in here, don't you? But you're never going to go down here. And now I can go down here. So what is it? What's she hiding? Maybe all of her snacks. All the... All the goodies. Oh, it's just a bloody shortcut. What? Underwhelming. I was, I was expecting something like treasure. Hello, Bartek. Welcome in, baby. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Why do you have a massive... Don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. Why do you have a massive... Uh, weapon. What is this guy? Should we should we just, should we kill him? Oh my god, we found another hunt. Why not? Massive weapon. I think it might be stealthy, yeah. <laughs> Bring out the bearers! Whoa! Oh! Um, alright, a little bit rude. Very rude. Push them on their sin! I don't like this. I can't see anything either. Can you come a bit further this way, please? In the bushes is not good for me. Come here. Come here! What are you doing up there for? You want to fight? Come down. Oh. Oh. I full on got hit. My wounds, boy. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, oh, I dodged it. Dodged it, dodged it. I can't see what he's about to do. Whoa, okay. Second. Big punch. Another one. Very large. Twenty-nine thousand. That's good. That was good. Three precision dodges. We love to see that. Limit break. Careful, 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 careful. No. Your punishment. Oh my God! What is he doing with that thing? Stop. Stop it. That's better. Limit break. Limit break, limit break, limit break. Get off me, get off me. Lovely. <laughs> 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 
energy. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> what a death noise that was. Just a very gentle moan. Okay, we got something. I can make something with that, maybe. We did a... We accidentally did the wrong hunt. You're a good boy, Torgo. Okay, so I was just absolutely in the wrong place. He was a level B though, so that's good. Oh, box! Lovely. Any other loot? No? Oh, he died face down. It's humiliating really, isn't it? Will you recruit people later? When you say recruit, how do you mean? Recruit in the game? Out of game? The humiliation. Face down in the dirt, Bruce. You know? I love the pure brass version of this battle theme. I, w I wish I could pay attention more whilst playing at the same time to hearing some of the nuances between the songs, because all I'm thinking about is Limit Break. Um, but I would like to be thinking about, oh, trombone. Wrong room? Wrong room. Oh, here we go. FF Games always had a party when I played. Yes, this one doesn't. So this is um, a lot of a lot of most Final Fantasies have been turn-based. This is one of the first Final Fantasies that is not turn-based at all, and so it doesn't have party members like that. It's they've kind of gone more of like a mainstream type of gameplay with this one, which is, uh, has upset some people, and then some people have loved it. The dodge is party enough. It's very OP. It's very OP. But if I could put people in my party, then I would put Taya there every day of the week, even though she's not combat trained, um, because I just like the company. Oh my god, it would be such an awkward party, because I would take I would take Jill for her, her combat skills and Taya for her beaut beauty skills, and then it would just be a really awkward party, the three of us all just not really getting on, because of various reasons. That's true, she can heal. Yeah, that's true. She could be the healer. That's a good point. Hello. Bye. Anyway. <laughs> that noise was gross. Oh, spider. Quest destination nearby. Are we almost here? So we have to kill something. I think it's a big spider, actually. Caster threatening to take Liara and Caden in the same party after <laughs> conversations. <laughs> there's um, there's way more options to romance characters in Mass Effect 2, correct? So I'm 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 intrigued as to where she's going to go with that. Rodrigo could have mentioned his spiders were the size of curls. <laughs> Mightling. You're finished. Okay, one's dead. Oh. Um, excuse me. Ben's little growl when he does that is so funny. I love it. Limit break. He goes like, Rrr. Peach, thank you for gifting a sub to Moogsy. Peach, you are so nice. Thank you, Peach. Thank you so much, Moogsy. Welcome back, baby. One of us. Hello, Fangle. How's your day today? Clive using Titan's abilities as the most intense grounds. Like, Rrr. oh, spider eye. The eyeball? Actual eyeball? Ew. Ew, ew, ew. So this is the thing for the euthanasia. <sighs> oh, 
Hopefully one will be enough. I can't believe we just killed five spiders to help a man die. What can you do? Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm defo watching that then. Mass Effect 2. <laughs> what will she do? Okay. We'll go give Taya the eyeball. Cole said it was an army. Maybe she will love us after doing this for her. No. No, we just gotta accept it. We just gotta accept it. But maybe no. <sighs> Hello, I got it for you. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Into my arms? Is this what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but... <laughs> the drums. Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. It is. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How does she know this guy again? Do we know the backstory as to who, like, what he was in her life? Maybe they went to med school together. <laughs> if he's her ex-boyfriend. Light, my dear. Oh, maybe he's old? Drifting on waves. Is it her dad? Uncle? Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Oh, I love you. Thank you, Daya. Oh, he's old. Duh. Older. I'm... So proud of you. Spazzy. So proud of you. Maybe, maybe he was a mentor. A medical mentor. He's gone. Oh, Thank well. you, Rodrigue. Anyway, um, no, okay. And you, Clive? Oh, see that he's properly laid to rest. Who was he? Hi, Jordan. Welcome. The man you helped today was my mentor. Called it! Back in the Southern Isles. On the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents. To treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. It was his recipe! A respite from the agony of the curse. <laughs> and the kindness Sid would have approved of. Does it mean that they well weren't entangled? Life is like for a bear soldier. Marched from one battle to the next. I feel like she would like an older man. Which might be your last. It wouldn't shock me if she did. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. But my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. Got no tears left to I've cry. seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it together and we will i promise i hope so okay bye okay good 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 <laughs> with the power of friendship <laughs> she was like <laughs> We'll do it together. Won't we? As friends. <laughs> I'm like, sure. Okay. How may I help you today, Clive? Um, I would like to... Your benefactors are a generous lot. Check the box. Here you are. Oh, we found a song. Oh, good. Brilliant. 